What are you doing? No, oh, that was awesome. I'm like, oh, dude, do I have a leaky gasket? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. you're I, welcome. Yeah, yeah. I wear, you know, I work in a loud environment, so I'm like, does anybody hear me just fucking <laughs> blowing this? <laughs> but then I remember that I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't you like 30 yeah. feet in the air anyway? Sometimes, yeah. 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 But there's always a dude with me, but he's way grosser than I am. So it's also that dude. He's 45 and he parties like he's 20. Nice. Oh, oh man, kind. I'm like amazed. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, right. He's a sweet guy. Yeah, and I'm not good with heights at all. I'm not a big fan. Oh, Are you in a scissor? Or I'm in a scissor. Okay. But it's Scissor's a, it's a mini, yeah, but all of them, they do their little rockabye uh, baby uh, routine. Start swaying in <laughs> yeah. the wind. Uh, Tay in the wind. Uh, well, Todd, you let us know oh, hey. when the uh, uh, show's about to begin, and we'll get this peer party started. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, one and all, to another exciting edition of Our Town Podcast. Extraordinary. Extraordinary yeah. Coming to you from the beautiful, historic, Renton Civic Theater. Yes, yes. Ah, Renton. <laughs> In downtown Renton, Washington. Oh, yeah. No, it's a thing. How's it going, guys? Episode 48. Wow. Wow. Yeah. We are kind of doing a tinfoil hat Redux. part do. Nice. Um, for uh, all of you who watched it uh, way back in the day, uh, what was that, like May or June? Something when did like you that. go to yeah, Chicago? Something like that. Jeez, yeah. I don't remember. I don't know. Yeah, yeah it sounds about, I think it was May. Yeah. 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 yeah and uh, <laughs> we've got an extra guy here you might recognize who was also on the show uh, way back when. We've got my uh, DCG TV yeah. and Dunce Cap Games brother, Kyle McCurdy. They call him Mr. Our the Dunce Cap. In house yeah. philosopher. Good to have you back. Yes, as yes, well. yes, yes. So yeah. Thank you for coming. Congrats on 48. Thanks. Awesome. Yeah. Do, you, do you have uh, a favorite uh, conspiracy theory or do you are you into conspiracy theories? I am. I am. I have many favorite conspiracies. Oh, what, what, is, what is the one that like you always go, oh, when people somebody else starts talking about it, you want to get in on the conversation? Um, I mean, 9-11. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't have, like, a theory. I just think what we've been told is hocus pocus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. more to it than what we Oh, yeah. No, I might not know much, but I know that that report was not <laughs> yeah. complete yeah. nor correct. Uh, yeah. That's probably right? the one. Yeah. yeah. The funner ones are like... Fluoride in the water. <laughs> yeah. Chemtrails. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Chemtrails, chemtrails <laughs> fluoride in the water. And what was the other one my brothers were always talking about? The New World Order. Mm. Was, oh, they were sure. really big on that one. Yeah, but the more amorphous something is, you know, it's like, oh, geez. I don't <laughs> and plus, there's just modern ones now. You know what I mean? The Flat Earth. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I guess that's the classic. That one yeah. it just hasn't yeah. spoiled yet. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Oh, Kyle, my God. you can actually adjust your mic. My I don't, yeah, I don't know. And uh, a little knob right here. Oh right. yeah. Turn it and then lift up. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Hey, all right. If you want to. That's I mean, if you want to. Thank you. Yeah. 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 I guys, guys, tonight's safe word, if anybody needs it, is frosty windshield. So uh, yeah. if anybody's feeling like yeah. these conspiracy theories are getting to them <laughs> a little too much, windshield. and you just need to take a break, <laughs> just yell off frosty yeah. windshield. We'll stop this here yes. show, and we Amazing. will Amazing. No take one care ever uses the the safe ah, word. you know, we don't well, know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. They could be, be screaming in the night every Friday. You know, frosty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they don't have the same time altering abilities evidently no, that we, no, do we do as producers yeah, yeah, yeah. of this. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, a quick fun fact for you guys, because I just I read this and I thought it was funny, um, that I bet Pavlov thinks about his dog every time a bell rings. That's nice. Is that like, like is that like a Schrodinger's cat or whatever? Uh, Pavlov was a scientist that uh, showed that you can condition a uh, response by. So what he did was he set up an experiment where he rang a bell and fed his dog at the same time. Okay. So it trained his dog to salivate every time a bell would ring because yeah. the dog would think that food was coming. So um, but every time that bell rings, I'm sure he's like, yeah. hmm, I wonder what my dog's doing right now. <laughs> dog doing. Every time, every time a bell rings, the dog gets a boner. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That might be a maybe whole, somewhere. That's a whole other know, conditioning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of dogs in the world. So, well, I mean, yeah, who was to say I was talking about canine dogs? I could be talking about some guy like in a box someplace I, with a collar. Yeah, <laughs> the, all all good things. Yeah, yeah. yeah it is. a couple of headlines that came up, guys. Actually, three deaths that kind of hit me. Uh, 
Steve Poole, longtime uh, oh, weatherman yeah. for Como yeah, Lord died. Lord, yeah. And I actually local. have a Steve Poole story. He's kind of a local legend. Sure, yeah. I'm working at Shucks Auto Supply in downtown Seattle. This is probably 89, maybe early 90, 1990. And Steve Poole comes in and he wants to buy floor mats and he's got this really chic kind of gold Honda, hmm. right? <laughs> it was either a Honda or a Hyundai. I'm pretty sure it was a Honda, but he comes and he buys new floor mats for it. And he goes out and he puts the floor mats in and he comes back into the store. And he's like, hey man, how do I keep them from like shifting, right? Under my feet. And I'm like, oh, you need some Velcro strips. So I go over, get him the Velcro strips, sell it to him. He goes outside. He comes back in about 10 minutes later. He's like, the Velcro strips aren't working. I'm like, really? What's going, what's going on? I'm thinking maybe the sticky didn't stick or something. Uh, well, what Steve Poole had done was taken the hook and the loop side, <laughs> stuck uh, it to the back of the <laughs> format, and stuck it down and expected it to... <laughs> just see, uh, so I had to explain uh, Velcro oh, man. To, <laughs> to that uh, scientist, yeah, to, uh, yeah. to that I meteorologist. Got, I think two degrees. <laughs> okay, oh, there's, there's a difference between meteorology and, like, you know other types of science clearly i don't know but i mean it was a funny moment and steve was a little bit embarrassed but very nice very nice and everybody gets a brain yeah you know yeah everybody has a little bit of brain brain farts once in a while yeah yeah Yeah, he used to come into don pay i worked at oh yeah yeah teriyaki joint and he would stop by down in uh pioneer Pioneer square Square, yeah Yeah. seemed like a really nice genuine nice person yeah yeah. uh 70 years old early onset alzheimer's i think yeah okay oh man that's right yeah yeah. Um, another one from our childhood, and Kyle, you're a little younger than us, so I don't know if you'll remember some of this stuff, but Marty Croft passed away, and he did um, all those uh, Sid, large, uh, like Sid, uh, Sigmund, the Sigmund Sigmund Sea Monster, oh, yeah. HR Puff and stuff, uh, Land of the Lost. Yeah. Yeah. Any of those? Land of the Just Lost? Just a bunch of weird... Uh, nah, it, was, oh, it, was, it, was, it was on TV yeah. late, late 60s, early 70s. Yeah, so. and it really shows, because it was... Uh, Musical and just weird. Yeah, it's like, you can yeah. find episodes on the Internet yeah. Archive. I've I've sure. found episodes of all those shows you guys have mentioned on. It's fun. But then so he also was your... a Broadway designer for many years. I also years. grew up in yeah. Canada, so I mean, that's, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's higher that's quality. Right. They had Red Green Show. Thank you. You know, yeah, they, <laughs> Grassy <laughs> Junior High. You know? They they had you can, Mike. They we had, were fucking around with puppets, <laughs> man. What what what, uh, what part of Canada? Uh, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Okay, right, right in the oh, yeah. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did, did you guys have You Can't Do That on television? Uh, we did, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had that. Of course, Kids in the Hall. Oh, yeah, Kids in the Hall is always up. Oh, yeah, red, green is as... It sure is. Yeah. National yeah. treasure, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> they have Red Green Day up there. Bob and Doug McKenzie. Yeah. The yeah. McKenzie Lever- Brothers, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Take oh, up, hey? Yeah. Oh, my God. It was huge. Anyway, sorry to... No, no, no. No, no, that's why we're here. Oh, yeah. I heard that, like, they had to sue McDonald's because I think a lot of those characters were... The McDonald's characers were rip-offs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You mean McDonald's? McDonald's would uh, borrow some <laughs> like, of <laughs> 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 because, because uh, I think it was Mary McKee kind of looked like um, like one of the characters from uh, H.R. Puff and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. But I guess he did a stage design for, uh, oh, geez, uh, Judy Garland, I think Barbara Streisand, stuff like that. So Makes he was sense. that yeah. big yeah. show, flashy. Yeah. You can see what's going on from 200 yards away. <laughs> Just, no, done, no subtlety. Uh, in they've his done work. stuff as yeah. recently as I think 2015. They have a show on Nick Jr. and it's a a, a, a version of HR Puff and stuff, oh, but geez. it's a dog yeah. instead of a dragon. Because Puff and stuff had the magic flute and shit, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, what yeah. the fuck? It was bizarre, dude. <laughs> yeah. Magic. Yeah. 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 Mozart. I Hold promise. <laughs> I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna check. It out. <laughs> when you want to get some brain munching, oh yeah. man, yeah. flip that sucker on. Or and just watch uh, Kids in the Hall again. Right, you're yeah, way better yeah, just revisiting. Like, just I could watch Brain Candy once a week. What it's one of the funniest movies I've ever seen in my so life. So stupidly, oh hilarious. my god, it's fantastic. It's yeah, those guys are great. Yeah, <laughs> they are. yeah. and uh, finally this week, uh, Georgie. Uh, oh, I'm saying his name wrong. Uh, Georgie Walker from Killing Joke uh, passed away. He's a oh. guitarist from Killing yeah. Joke. Hmm. Um, 
big influential band, not a lot of hit records. They had a uh, 1985, I think it was called, uh, the album was called Nighttime, and it had the 80s song, and it had the hmm. uh, Love Like Blood song, yeah, yeah. and those uh, charted in the U.S. Most of their stuff charted in the U.K., but sure. they were super influential, like Kirk Hammett, Soundgarden, Nirvana, all these people uh, <laughs> use him as a uh, influence, Jeez. and what he did was he took a big Gibson hollow body guitar and he toned it down like an entire octave and if you listen to his guitar playing it's just different than anything anybody else mm-hmm. is doing so if you get a chance check out uh killing joke um and then he was in a couple of super group type things um murder inc and i can't remember the other one mm. but uh, been around a while uh lived in uh, grew up in england moved to friggin' outside Detroit for a while in the mm. 90s and then mm. moved to the Prague and that's where he passed away. Mm. So, oh, wow. Yeah, so uh, three uh, pretty good, pretty uh, big deaths this past week. <laughs> yeah, and you guys talked about Rosalind Carter last week. Yeah, yeah. and she yeah. was laid to rest this week. I guess you know? so, yeah. I, I'm showing Kyle clips or the opening to HR Pup and stuff and he's just looking at me like, what the fuck yeah, is that? No, man. <laughs> It's great. Yeah. Watch it's it like he did kid. a lot of drugs. Yeah. 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 There was easily a lot of drugs <laughs> happening on the, on these shows because every one of the shows is very, like, basic looking like this and really creepy and just really weird. Well, I mean, those are tiny stages, I bet, right? Yeah, those stages probably. are probably 100 feet across. There's 50 <laughs> of them right? in a barn somewhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> and this kind of, yeah, I mean, it's bonkers. Oh, man, this is all just kind of bringing me back. And I remember as a kid having a fever a lot. So this all kind of just <laughs> blurs in with my fever. Just because you were so my sweaty. Fever life. Yeah, I was just sweaty. All, yeah, maybe, yeah, who knows? Maybe that's what that was. Who knew? <laughs> it, was, it was from watching yeah. Sid and Marty Croft. <laughs> as long as I was quiet, my parents, yeah. You know, <laughs> didn't really care. Just, just let it go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, oh man! And then they had they had shows like the Doctor Shrinker, which was these people got his guy had this Doctor shrink, Shrinker. Yeah, he had a shrink ray and he shrank these people down, and he spends the entire series like trying to find them. They're hiding in his backyard. Oh. <laughs> like honey i shrunk the kids yeah. except Jeez. for he's evil, evil yeah oh, he's uh. the evil dr shrinker <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh boy gentlemen yes conspiracy yes. theories oh man diving in yeah. dive in All you right. know it's the 60th anniversary of the jfk assassination wow so, i mean it's just crazy that it's still 60 years later yeah. we're still talking about it well i mean it's a big people, event yeah no it's a still mess. talking about yeah. it as a conspiracy yeah. theory and and even as a world event not just because we're united states citizens and it's been part of our, you know, the immediate history. But uh, uh, just such a public display of brutality, yeah, is, yeah, it should it the, be shocking. Like the yeah. first yeah. international TV thing. Where the whole oh, really was. Yeah. Everybody yeah. ran home. And was, sure, yeah. sure, sure. Jeez, yeah, wow. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I remember, you know, people saying, do you, rem- do you remember where you were when Kennedy was shot? I was like, yeah, I wasn't born yet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A lot of people say they rushed home and were watching the live TV, and then they saw Jack Ruby get uh, kill uh, Oswald live on TV, yeah. which is just nuts, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. And I mean, that whole thing is so, either it's just a confederacy of fucking dunces, <laughs> and everybody dropped the ball to allow not only a president to be killed, but the prime suspect. <laughs> yeah. Etc. Yeah. Etc. Et a bunch of evidence to get fucked up, etc. Or something fishy might have been happening. Yeah. Hey, they still haven't yeah. released the files. Trump. Yeah. They really haven't. They to, haven't released Biden them. All. Said he, Obama said he was going to. Yeah. Nobody has. They keep yeah. kicking it down. Yeah. No, well, because power doesn't like to have light they, shined yeah. on it. They, right? they, so. they they say they're going to. I think they intend to, but then they're told, "No, we can't. You can't <laughs> do that because yeah. this, this, and this will happen." It's like, oh shit. Yeah, we we can't do that. Yeah. No, anybody yeah. could have done it. It would have been Trump, but. Yeah. Well, would have done it, you mean? Because he kind of plays no, fast and loose with, mean, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Is with he, the documents. Yeah, yeah. he's yeah. like, fuck it, you get a document, you get a document, you. everybody gets a document. <laughs> just like handing them out like one dollar bills and, and, on and just like night. in all human endeavors, there's got to be balance between yeah. the secretive natures of power, right? Because I don't want Iran to know every single functioning secret of the United <laughs> States government. Thank you very much. Right. right? But we as citizens deserve to, the only way to keep power in check is by shining a light on it. Yep. Right? I think it's your phone, Chuck. Your, your Mine phone. are off. They're off? What? By the way, my favorite Bill Hicks, I guess, joke in conspiracy land 
was when he talks about when a new president takes office, they pull him into a back room, a bunch of dark uh, lights turned out, smoke everywhere, and they show the president the Kennedy assassination from an angle nobody's ever seen before. Yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah. Any questions? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right next to an Exxon ad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The better is uh, Dana Gould when he's talking about uh, when you become president, do they just throw it all, all the conspiracy theories, theories at you at once, or do you have to sort of earn them with good behavior? It's like, yeah, we got Kennedy downstairs. We put his brain yeah. in a monkey. Yeah, yeah. His brain is in Elvis. <laughs> The aliens. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And do you remember like yeah. how uh, Clinton responded to Jimmy or whoever? He's like, "Yes, Jimmy, I want to know about if there's aliens too, but they won't. They won't let me see it or whatever it was." <laughs> Jeez, yeah. Was he saying that as in a flipping way, or he? He was being sincere. Yeah. It seemed like. I mean, it uh, looked sincere. I don't know. He uh, could have been like, I don't know. "Wink, it's, wink, nudge, yeah. nudge. Go fuck yourself, kid." It's you kind know? of the only reason I'd want to be president. I don't want that kind of responsibility, yeah. but the only reason I want it is because the you know absolute power. <laughs> you, you want to find hopefully you get a key to the library. <laughs> That's what I want is the key to the library. <laughs> you, you just want access to the yeah. book of secrets. Yeah, I want the yeah. Yeah, well, I yeah. want all the secrets, but yeah, there was just a whistleblower on aliens, right? Uh, what was his name? Gruff or something? Something like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, was he the yeah. former NASA guy? I think so. Some sort Order. of freedom of information whistleblower yeah. act. Yeah. And he was trying to like expose information. He said, like, I can't tell this to you like in this public setting but I've, I've seen these things and i've there's aliens exist yeah yeah and so yeah. who knows well it's like i don't know because that, that's the beauty of prey and this is kind of off subject but <laughs> that's the beauty of probability right it's because they're equally yeah. probable and improbable because it's yeah. a nigh infinite universe I, and we're 14 billion years into it know. right I, so. I saw a clip just a few days ago christopher titus i don't know if you guys know who he is but he's a very funny comedian and he goes the last few years have been crazy the government come out and said there's aliens and everyone was like not now <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got. I'm doing way too much shit now. Don't don't don't, don't make me put that on a burger Japanese. too. Yeah, you know all oh this God, other stuffs funny. happening. It's like, oh, by the way, there's aliens. Like, oh, no, not right now. We're busy. <laughs> too much on the plate already. Go, nice. No, but yeah, yeah. But with aliens, I mean, I've had people that I know aren't lying to me. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I you my high school girlfriend, and then she's still very alive and well. Hi, hi, Dion. Uh, her <laughs> parents are the most. They're both engineers, aeronautical engineers, uh, the most sober, serious human beings who would, uh, should have murdered me when I was dating their daughter. Uh, but they told me that they saw, not on the ground, but it's certainly some type of like non-human mm. aircraft. And they're both aeronautical engineers mm. and not fibbers. There's yeah. no way they were lying to me. So either they were completely mistaken, me, or they saw something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or were they dabbling? Not a chance. Yeah, oh, not a chance. Like, yeah. Some, someone, right. someone put some magic mushrooms on their pizza. No, nah, they're the squares, <laughs> squares. Yeah. you know, and God bless them. Nice. I think they're Lutheran. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. They're Lutheran. That's, That's it. The issue. That, well, that explains it. Speaking of JFK, back to JFK, there was, because it's the, I don't know if this was because of the 60th anniversary, but there was an auction of like, JFK assassination oh. memorabilia, and it brought what? in big bucks. So there was two sizable patches of blood-stained leather that were cut from the oh, limo. Oh, shit. Uh, Jesus. Sold for $46,865. There was uh, Lee Harvey Oswald's personally owned revolver, which sold for $31,000. Oh, my God. Uh, the bullet that nightclub owner Jack Ruby fired at Oswald fetched $18,000. How does that? Come out of evidence, and I not... don't know. Um, and I, I'm wondering if it's the shell, maybe. Oh, the case. Maybe, I don't know. That would still be evidence. It you says know the I mean? bullet, which is the bullet, but yeah. I don't know. And then somebody actually took pieces of the picket fence from the infamous grassy knoll, and they were able to sell them for thirteen thousand seven hundred forty dollars. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, and I mean, who's checking that, <laughs> right? I, we, we should have made like fifty of those fucking things. I'm gonna, need some, I'm gonna and just, yeah. he, Nobody knows how big that fence was. <laughs> it's like 8,000. It's bigger than the Great Wall of China. They're carbon oh, dating so it, Mike. They're carbon program. dating it. Yeah. <laughs> I still think my favorite bit of like... Uh uh, pop culture in regards to the, the Kennedy assassination is the episode of Red Dwarf where they go back in time 
and uh, they're like they're in they're in in uh, Texas. It's like we're in the spot where Kennedy gets killed, and and eventually what happens is is they they go they go back a couple more years. They get JFK himself, and then bring him to the year he gets shot, and he, he's the guy on the grassy knoll. That uh, oh, man, <laughs> man. Yeah. Well, speaking of the grassy knoll, um, there's a new book by a lady named Mary Haverstick, um, and she claims that she met back in 2000. Eight, the babushka lady that shows up <coughs> excuse me in a lot of the videos the babushka lady <coughs> man, see, they're, try, they're trying to silence, they're trying to silence me already <laughs> oh the babushka goodness. lady was a lady that was wearing a headscarf and was filming that day Okay, okay, and nobody's ever found her. She like a, a film, film camera, or a, a like a movie personal yeah. movie camera, yeah, movie like camera. Yeah. 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 All right. yeah, yeah. So uh, this lady was doing a uh, story or a book on women that did like big things, like aviation women, and this she was doing a story on this lady whose name was uh, Jerry Cobb, who was a pilot and an astronaut candidate for the Mercury Eleven. Uh, stuff she didn't make it to the Mercury 11, the, but she did a bunch of stuff uh, with NASA and with uh, I think the Navy or the Air Force. All this stuff. Um, they have witnesses that say there was a plane that was running at a private airport in Dallas that was left running on the runway. And so a lot of conspiracy theories are saying that that was the getaway plane for Lee Harvey Oswald and that this lady uh, actually flew in and out of Dallas on that day that was on her itinerary somehow. So she's interviewing this lady and she brings up this name, June Cobb. This lady's name is Jerry Cobb. There was a June Cobb that actually worked for the CIA and was a uh, possible secretary for Castro in Cuba. And they think that either they interchanged with each other or it was one in the same lady. So this lady, Hmm. Mary Haverstick, is releasing this book. Of course, it's the 60th anniversary and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of truth that's come out. And this lady has since passed away. But when supposedly when this Mary Haverstick asked her about June Cobb, the lady sort of smiled and said, oh, you found that name, like kind of admitting that she was kind of connected there. Hmm. So obviously you can't interview that lady anymore. She's passed away and all that stuff, but... Um, but, but, but I'm still stunned that she was even considered for, like, a Mercury astronaut position. Yeah, but before that, so yeah. maybe she didn't, you know, she f- didn't make the Mercury, I don't want to say she failed out, but didn't Well, make I don't the, think any females... Ever did, yeah. yeah. yeah they yeah, said so. it's a man's world, or yeah, sure. outer yeah. space or whatever. Have the right stuff. Yeah, <laughs> didn't have the right <laughs> stuff, basically, the right plumbing. Um, but uh, she may have been... Tapped by the CIA yeah. afterwards. Yeah. You don't know. Because, so. no, those astronauts are overachievers. Yeah, big I mean, ridiculous. So, yeah, if I were CIA, I'd be like, you're not a has been, you're a gonna be. Yeah, because we talked oh, yeah. about Chuck Yeager uh, oh, oh, not geez. making it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, how badass are the people <laughs> yeah. who did? The beat Chuck Yeager out of becoming an <laughs> yeah, astronaut, right? Man. It's like, holy shit. Uh, uh, it's uh, ridiculous. So, yeah, the speculation is that she might have flown into Dallas. Uh, she may have had a concealed weapon inside of her uh, uh, camera that uh, uh-huh. she was in the perfect position because she was 30 feet away from the limo and that she wow. had the grassy knoll as a backdrop so yeah. if she missed it would you know hit the grassy knoll kind of a thing so it's an interesting thing I haven't read the book Jeez. obviously I just read the article but Mary Haverstick wow. hmm. uh, the babushka lady and that's the thing too is nobody's ever been able to uh, certify that they know who the babushka lady is. But, but uh, Mary is implying that uh, the babushka is this is astronaut this. slash what? Jerry okay. Cobb. Yeah. What is a babushka, anyway? Like a Russian, like a big Russian. Oh, they like wear the headscarves. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so okay. this like woman. Eastern I, European. I didn't, like I didn't know yeah. that was there was a name for that. I just figured yeah. that was just how every um, <laughs> Russian woman looked back in the fifties. Well, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of truth to that. Yeah. <laughs> so I think the babushka woman comes up a lot because nobody can recognize her. Headscarf, sunglasses, yeah. camera in her face. Yeah. Um, and it could have been a pistol of some kind. Could have been yeah. a pistol of I some guess, kind. I guess, but that's a lot of good as also. It might but she just might never, be an immigrant she never the most came patriotic forward. human being ever. Yeah, but right? never, never came forward. There was a woman that came forward in the early 70s 
but her story didn't quite gel because the camera that she said she had that day wasn't actually manufactured at oh, that time. Yeah. So they haven't been able to verify that that woman. So they don't know if they ever found in her film footage as well. Because, oh, yeah. you know, every, the FBI, yeah. everybody's going to want that that footage, and they haven't been able to find her. Yeah. So, huh. Jeez. I mean, it's interesting stuff. Um, what does the, uh, the Oliver Stone movie say about it? It's been, I can't remember. It's like there was weird. so many yeah, they just, pieces. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they threw oh, everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I remember getting terribly angry at... Uh, <laughs> And existence. And when I saw that in theaters and just yelling at everybody in the audience, like, if this is even partially true, why are we all just sitting here? You know, because it's awful. But it, it's a well done film. Yeah. But I don't know. Then he did the Doors movie. Now I hated Oliver Stone again. So <laughs> <laughs> I love hate relationship. <laughs> oh, oh, man. man. <laughs> but it's a thing. It's a thing. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, that cute that know. Castro connection is kind of interesting. Yeah, the Castro is. thing was big, so yeah. yeah, definitely a June Cobb. Yeah, um, but one of the first things Kennedy did was the Bay of Pigs, right? Like that was like right at the beginning. It was pretty close to the beginning. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. yeah, I mean the yeah. Hawks. You know, I mean, we were just bad, right? CIA was <laughs> everywhere in Latin America because mm-hmm. we want to control our hemisphere, et cetera, right. in, in a gross, brutal way. Yep. The CIA yeah. was just the Dulles Brothers, just piece of shit. You know, the Hoover is a piece of shit, just absolutely un-American dog shit that we can never allow again. Yeah. Right? The the takeover and de-democratization of our institutions like FBI and CIA cannot be allowed yeah. to happen again. Cannot, yeah. cannot, cannot. It'll be worse next time, guaranteed. Do we have theories, Todd? You start us off. What's your theory? Who killed JFK? Uh, you know what? Um, I don't really know. I never really looked into the JFK thing. I was never interested in that. I I think that there's probably more to them what we're being told, kind of like the 9/11 thing. I think there's more to it than what we're told, but I don't have any any kind of idea of who the running. Was. The running is CIA, mob, Castro, and uh, the basically just the I, military industrial you know, I, I, complex. I, I right? think because or Johnson. I mean, you could throw Johnson. In yeah, there. no, I don't. I don't go with Johnson or Castro. I, I, I think, really don't. I take those guys right off the. Board. I think he pissed off a lot of people, so therefore there's. There's a number of people that could be responsible. I think a, probably a combination of all of the above. And it could just be a crazy Lee Harvey Oswald that got a yeah, lucky no, I shot. Don't, I don't buy that either. Yeah. At least yeah. not yeah. alone. He he was either weaponized, the magic, and magic. radicalized, right to to spin the story. But there's he's got way too much weird oh, the, immediate history before those events to where it's yeah. like no, there's no way Going to the he wasn't tapped. Oh, yeah. And being welcomed yeah. back. Yeah. Are you kidding That's me? Nuts. Just <laughs> uh, no, not yeah. possible. He had to have been not a, possible. Some Something. kind of CIA. Yeah. Somebody yeah, was tapping him. But there's also, you know, for those three letters, CIA, it's a vast <laughs> it's a vast body I, with a lot is, of yeah. hands that are not connected to the same body. Right. Right. Yeah, so right. I don't know. It's like So Mike, do you have a do you have a number one? No, on I really your don't. List? I really it's don't. Just it's too just, much to it's it. just too much. And yeah. I mean, yeah, there's just been so many uh pieces put into the puzzle that there's no mm-hmm. way for me to differentiate yeah, yeah. between them anymore. What about but, you, Kyle? Yeah, I go with the the old tried and true kind of Federal Reserve conspiracy theory oh. that Kennedy was going to work on D taking power away from the, from the so silver putting bank, it back yeah. on the silver yeah. standard. Yeah, and all that. Yeah. 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 I don't know. That's that's the one I've always figured, but yeah. everything's more complex than that. So who sure. who was the who who ordered the was it a CIA operation? Do you think or just vice president? Yeah, probably the CIA. I mean, a lot of those like big old money families kind of control those agencies in some ways, and so yeah. be my yeah. thought. Maybe his wife did it because he was. <laughs> yeah. I don't know because he was getting too much nookie on the <laughs> yeah. side. Jeez, oh, man. Uh, yeah, no, I did. I think she was pretty darn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think it's the CIA. I think he yeah. ruined their Bay of Pigs operation, and mm-hmm. um, that was the payback. It's just all the stuff. The the most interesting thing about the JFK movie, Oliver Stone's movie, to me was the CIA connections, mm-hmm. and the fact that they were able to like call off. The, so there's so many moving parts when a president goes somewhere. 
Yeah. Right. Yeah. And they called off like the the standby security. Yeah. They mm. there were so many little weird things that they did on this that, trip that had to happen. That had for to happen to be as easy, be easy as it was. Yeah. Right. And it was change the course so that the car would come. I mean, it was just hmm. bonkers. Where any security person yeah. with a lick of sense would be like, "No, that's obviously yeah. far more dangerous." Yeah. And who has the juice to control it. the military? Yeah. Right. Because yeah. there wasn't isn't there like a a unit or a brigade or a something uh, in the military that's always on standby when the president's traveling and they're. I don't know. I would like to think oh, so, I think but that, I don't know. I that. think there was something yeah, about but that. But he's got a yeah. secret service contingency, yeah. right? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. but I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It is. It's awful, no yeah. matter what. And people remember, assassinations don't help. They don't. They, <laughs> they don't. don't. They really don't. It, I mean, it looks neat in movies and shit, but I'm telling you. What it's would like, be like, what would be another famous assassination? You have like Lincoln. A Lincoln, Lincoln for sure. Yeah. Um, the, the attempted the ones. Moves, yeah. uh, the World War One. Reagan, right? yeah. That's the famous one. Yeah, uh, Archduke oh, Ferdinand. Yeah. 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 The Serbian national. Yeah, because yeah. it caught yeah, yeah, uh, Pope much. John Paul. No, it doesn't happen that often. But yeah. no, and bombings, no sort of Guy Fox, for God's sake. Yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah. But I ran about that every November because it's like bombers, just like <laughs> now, man. And I'm not by any means uh, hoping Hamas exists, you know, any longer than they need to. But uh, indiscriminate bombings are always a, a fucking just evil yeah. thing. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Every time. I don't care if it's some asshole mm -hmm. on a bus or uh, some dude dropping some something from the world's most expensive bomber. It's a fucking shit move. It's a failure of humanity. Mm -hmm. We need to stop. Yeah. Great. But fuck them us. <laughs> fuck them. Yeah. Fuck them. Awful. Right there with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, geez, anything. Uh, we also talked in, I think it was back in October or September, we talked about that uh, former Secret Service agent that was on the Kennedy detail that talked oh, about yeah. finding that magic bullet. Yeah. And, uh, oh. Putting it on, I think he put it on JFK's stretcher. Yeah, and somehow weird, yeah. bumped together yeah. and it went over to the. Yeah, it suddenly the hopped yeah. stretchers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or somebody physically picked it up and moved it yeah. for whatever reason. I don't know. And that's the thing, because you know, just like all police investigations or anything, it's like the more hands that get on the scene, the the more your case is blown. Yeah, right. Because yeah. now it's like there's been so many transferences of responsibility and all this kind of shit. That's like, oh man. And who knows? Yes. Oh, the other thing awful. that never made sense to me was Jack Ruby. It just why take out yeah. Oswald? Right? Yeah, he's just not some spare. patriot. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And in a public way <laughs> I, that he knew what, he was going down for, right? It. <laughs> right. It just, I mean, yeah. obviously. Yeah. So I know like, why they did? killed Oswald because he knew something he wasn't supposed to. Yeah, but, but Jack why Ruby, would Ruby specifically? Why, yeah. would, why would why would, why would he, the guy who killed Oswald yeah. kill Oswald? He had no motivation to do no so. No motivation. And that somebody was squeezed away. And he was he had cancer at the time, right? I think so. So so he knew his time was limited. Maybe he owed somebody a favor. Yeah. Yeah. So because he was a nightclub owner yes. and all that. So why not take yeah, a payout for your family? Yeah. But he also wasn't, yeah, I mean, a wet worker. No. You know what I mean? No. It's like he was yeah. a Big, low level. Clumsy. Yeah, yeah, looking. yeah. You know what I mean? It's like. He wore Coke bottle glasses. Any, any idea how many shots he fired? <laughs> I, it was, I think it was like one or two before they were able to wrestle yeah. a gun away. But it's also like. And the photo is famous, yeah. right? But every law enforcement guy is getting the fuck out of the way. <laughs> I'm not taking a bullet for this guy. For this piece of shit, they're like, nope, see ya. I'm like, oh, man. Yeah. 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 But on the other hand, that's kind of their sworn duty, right? Yeah. To get that guy safely to trial. That's yeah. kind of the job. But he, all of them, they're like, whoop. <laughs> How long did that Not it. Jack Ruby live? Past him. I, I think he was. was oh, he, he was in for prison for some time. Oh some yeah, time? yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. He didn't get the chair or anything like that. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He was around. Yeah. yeah that was but Texas then. Texas now they would have fucking <laughs> they would fried him with it like <laughs> forty eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> fried him with their breakfast eggs. Right? Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah, what, uh, what accused him of of yeah. having an abortion and had him executed? I don't know. Oh, Epstein died pretty fast in prison. Yeah, sure that's did. another that's yeah, one yeah, that yeah, we didn't talk about either. That yeah. didn't go through the wheels of justice, <laughs> yeah. right? No. I mean, justice, yeah. if he died, <laughs> yeah. right? I, yeah, I, he yeah. might have been spirited away. And I would like Bernie Madoff and those yeah. guys. I'm like, really? <laughs> really? And this is just me kind of having fun with it also. <laughs> but it's like, if I were a billionaire... Right. Yeah. Nobody's. I can't pay anybody to get me. Right. Out. It's like if you can get a cell phone in prison. Yeah. Right. You, for like 
a thousand dollars, yeah, you can get spirited what do you, away for what do you, five million dollars. What do you get yeah. the con, the yeah. concession stand, uh, not the con, but the consignment? Yeah, do you, like I'm buying everybody hundreds and hundreds <laughs> of dollars of cup of noodles, right? Cigarette. I'm Cigarette. taking Cigarette. care of Cigarette. everybody yeah, yeah, yeah. in the place. What do, you, what do you mean spirited away? Because I, I wasn't sure what you meant. Oh, by like that. somebody could because the cameras went down. Remember. And that's how yeah. he died. In, I didn't hear any. All I, know he, Epstein, all, yeah. all I know is that he died. And really, he supposedly hung himself, but the cameras were down and all this kind of dog low. shit. It's like so dumb. So it's <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. yeah. They, they, you know, they went click and they went in and gr- well, you, grabbed you, him you and sent know, him off to the Bahamas or you something. You do know that, yeah. like, in prison, pedophiles are, are the lowest of the low. Yeah, but he was not in prison. No, he, he, was, he was in New York holding cell by himself. Yeah. yeah. In a yeah, yeah. in a no, single no. cell, yeah. no, oh, by he really? cell. convicted yeah. yet? No, no, no. He hadn't I been thought convicted. he was like in yeah. like a you know general population or whatever. No, 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 no. no he, he was, was waiting trial all by myself. Yeah. Oh wow. And, then and he, he was on he was on super- suicide watch. Yeah. <laughs> oh my which god. Which is a joke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which means they, they would take any kind of garment down to everything. Right. Right. You get a weird onesie and and yeah. you get uh, these fucked up slippers. <laughs> it's like yeah, dude. No, it's just not possible. It's like. Yeah. Yeah, Which means bizarre. that either, you know, they really dropped the ball or somebody with juice, Bill Barr, uh, decided <laughs> that he should live or Bill Barr decided he should die. Yeah. Right. And where's all the shit that Bill Barr got? Because remember, that was Donald Trump's Department of Justice. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Where's yeah. all the shit that he got out of Epstein's right. house? Where's the list? Yeah. His client. And, yeah. Yeah. And, and I got to say, you know, <laughs> you know, Bill yeah. Clinton probably on the list of the Lolita Let's Express, all that out. stuff. Let's, Let's find out. out. But, I would say but who was? had the juice to get oh, yeah. there? Oh, Bill yeah. Clinton and Hillary didn't have the juice to get somebody inside no. to get to him. No, no, no. I don't think so. But uh, like I Bill don't know. Gates. I mean, I'm sure there's a bunch of other mega, yeah, I don't, I don't mega millionaires. Gates even, yeah. If Gates stabbed a fucking nun, I don't think he registers good and bad. I really think he's so far <laughs> on like a spectrum type yeah. thing that he doesn't really get that his actions have that type mm-hmm. of impact. I really don't. I think he's a special kind of mind. Mind yeah. that, that we mm-hmm. need to just keep away from sharp <laughs> objects <laughs> uh, and assassins. Yeah, and assassins. Uh, um, but I don't know that. Yeah. Uh, What's going on know. with uh, Ghislaine Maxwell? I don't know. Is she she's still in prison? Right. That kind of fell out of the news. Know, yeah, yeah, it's not in the news no. anymore. Hmm. And she's like a submarine pilot and all this other. She's a fucking moose. Yeah, I mean, yeah, she's yeah. something, man. Yeah. She's something, and it's creepy as fuck. But yeah. I don't know. It, yeah, it is. It's creepy because I. I really and obviously this he you know he was never convicted of these things but regardless of whether or not he was running a giant fucking growth you want to talk about how to get know. someone in your pocket like if yeah. you can take them to love island yeah. right have, get them on tape having sex yeah. with a minor. Yeah. Well, yeah. You own that. You own that person. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 yeah okay. Oh yeah. You really do. Does not. You really doesn't do. that a big leap to think that that no. do yeah. people yeah. do no. that. No. Yes. Do you, do you guys think that uh, Epstein had like closed circuit? television cameras all over his island I think well I, he did at his homes and shit where he had people come over yeah. like Prince Andrew and all that that's yeah, pretty yeah. well asserted okay. didn't he yeah. have a giant naked portrait of Bill Clinton in his house <laughs> too? I don't know, that would be fucking him. that would be the least of my did. fucking worries about that guy <laughs> Jesus Christ what a fucking is that up for auction somewhere yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and that's the thing I also think that uh, the Clintons have like angered the right wing long enough for whatever reason because they're really right wing human beings they really yeah, are so yeah. yeah puzzle me uh, yeah. But that being said, if they had like film of Bill with a fucking twelve year old boy, it would be really see it every day. Yeah, we yeah, see yeah. it every day. They, they <laughs> yeah. would do whatever they could yeah. to crush them forever, forever. Right? Yeah, but, they, but they've tried. Like, Democrats, I'm like, really? The right wingers are mad at you guys. <laughs> you're, you're the, the center the right. <laughs> Maybe right? that's the, like, the etiquette of yeah. the rich and famous. You don't I go guess. Epstein. Yeah. Anything else is fair game. I don't know. Yeah. There's, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There's some weird motherfuckers. I know. Man. That's I know. so weird to me. And that in I you know, present company excluded, obviously. <laughs> Humans, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, are it's we? Sad. I mean, <laughs> what's going on, guys? <laughs> you can man. you don't have to do weird shit like that. You don't. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Did you guys see the new footage of Bigfoot that came out a few weeks ago? Are you talking about the one where he's walking along the the hillside and then he realizes there's a camera and he sits down? Well, I don't know if he realizes there's a camera. Uh, There was a couple on a sightseeing. It's a sightseeing train, right, Right, in Colorado. And they were uh, riding along and they see this figure. To me, it looks like a ghillie suit. 
like a right. sniper ghillie yeah. suit. But he's walking along the ridge line, and then yeah, he does cop a squat, and he's kind of sitting there. And they filmed it for as long as they could. The hunter probably... pooping in woods. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but what he knows hunting in a ghillie suit. Boyfriend, <laughs> he's still walking. Yeah. Wilbur's boyfriend's doing the walk of shame all the way into the into the wilderness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but this couple filmed it and they've put it out, and a lot of people are like, "Oh my God, that's you know evidence right there." And a lot of people are like, "Yeah, it looks like a ghillie suit, yeah. and you know, some guy just kind of wandering." But they estimated his height was like seven feet huh. and a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, stars. I don't know. Who knows? Bigfoot. But. Uh, Nessie, where's Nessie when we need her? <laughs> yeah, I, I got. I know that. Bigfoot would be terrifying and awesome. Super it right. would be. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I did see that, like that, that famous footage from like maybe the seventies or something. It's oh, what you think of. the guy in the or the brown. Yeah, the name one. of that, that film. Yeah, I don't know what it's called, but the guy that like I think the guy showed the suit and was like, "Yeah, that was me." Oh <laughs> like, totally man! Spelt it all out. Oh, yeah, oh, there we go. Oh, there. Oh, wait, hey, oh. I'm trying to get this to go large. What no, the it's hell? Jack Black. I fucking knew it. <laughs> yeah. 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 The, the, the funny thing is is the suit his hair if it's a suit or if it's Bigfoot's hair matches that surroundings perfectly he doesn't yeah. live in Colorado though I don't know that's one of the bigger sightings is it? I know I Washington and here. Oregon are always yeah. sort of battling for the who's Pacific the Pacific Northwest is usually where you see them but yeah well, maybe uh, it needs a different name we have well, Bigfoot because there's also the Yeti yeah. yeah, that's yeah. that's that's in yeah. the Himalayas. And, yeah, but yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, geez, I don't know. I mean, it's far enough away to where it could really just be a decent suit, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, it, the hair. Let's see if we can get him in the uh, Star Wars. Here we uh, go. Here it is. He's <laughs> holiday <up>. special. <laughs> hey, uh, Looks yeah. like a Wookiee. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> Just because it was a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, I was mean, they, they've been here I mean, for quite some, some time. time yeah. That could that could be a ghillie suit, but it looks like it's hair. It doesn't look like kind of does. Yeah, it looks more like hair yeah. than anything else. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Uh, and would they really sit crisscross applesauce? Well, I mean, see how he's kind of he's they don't. He's he's squat, squat, he, yeah. he squats down. Yeah. He doesn't actually cross his legs. Yeah. So. I would have jumped off the train and gone and scooped up some Don? Bigfoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get like, some footprints. Yeah, yeah. there's yeah. corn nuts in there. Dude, uh, you wouldn't have to. <laughs> Beef jerky. You wouldn't have to. You, Slim Jim. Yeah. He really yeah. is my best friend. <laughs> you, wouldn't, you wouldn't have to scoop up anything. You get close enough, he'll throw it at you. Yeah. 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 Just in a primate to throw Bigfoot, feces and Bigfoot sustains himself on a just, steady diet of Doritos, <laughs> Pepsi, and Slim Jims. He just takes a cup hand Fortnite. and puts it behind him and, 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 and squishes it out and then just heaves <laughs> it at you. Oh, man. Yeah, but, I, I think it'd be cool. I would love to see a Bigfoot. That would be as cool. As long as he doesn't like tear me limb from limb. Yeah, I, and I know we live in a very vast country, right? There's lots of open space. Hundreds um, of millions of acres. Hundreds of millions of acres. <laughs> no lie. No Nobody's been. I mean, yeah. I mean, Kyle, you're probably uh, Mike, maybe too. Uh, backwoods. Yeah. Uh, so, so, yeah. When I was a younger. Yeah. Person. When I was younger, yeah. for yeah. sure. Well, and I think like a lot of the most confident accounts of Bigfoot come from a lot of the local tribes. Like the, yeah. Yeah. the tribes yeah. are yeah. the ones that have the most stories. Yeah. And yeah. So like, yeah. well, I mean, the, the <laughs> tribes have been talking stories about wild men for for hundreds of years, man. Oh, it's yeah. not for sure. For yeah, them, yeah. it's just another thing that they see out in nature. It's to them, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, yeah. it's like seeing it's like seeing a, you know a bear or a, a moose or something. And indigenous people smell like their locality, right? The, the modern civilized humans don't smell like nature, right? No, no matter, no matter no. how we try. So it's like, yeah. I, if I were, uh, what are you talking about? I that know, lavender uh, you know, yeah, 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 deodorant yeah, yeah, yeah. I wear yeah. doesn't. Uh, oh my god! I, yeah. I, I bet, I bet, <laughs> I bet, like the, the dude bros that wear that douse themselves in axe like, body in spray, axe body spray <laughs> are like out there trying to camp and stuff yeah. in the, the trying to find like Bigfoot. Like Sasquatch is marinade of all time. Sasquatch is like throwing like giant rocks into their camp because yeah. they. Smell yeah. funny. That yeah. one's gonna taste awful. Yeah, you guys are fucking blowing my cover. <laughs> You're gonna have to boil <laughs> that one down. <laughs> my top five pet peeves. My number like 
you know, to number one is people who don't vote. Fuck them. Uh, number <laughs> number two is uh, people who gas me. Like ladies will give me a hug, and sometimes <laughs> dude, and it's just like so much perfume oh, and shit. It's God. like, dude, I'm this scrubby for a reason. <laughs> Leave my fucking layer alone. <laughs> like when you go to a grocery store and you can still smell the lady that was there like Boosh. five minutes ago. Oh my God, oh, I hate man. that. Oh, my, yeah. I, I'm. <laughs> I'm asthmatic, so that kind of stuff oh, yeah, always no, triggers real. my yeah. asthma. Yeah. And and half the time, I because of how fucked up my sinuses are, I don't even smell it. All all I know is that my nose will start like itching like crazy, and then I'll have trouble breathing. I was like, who the fuck bathed in their yeah. in their? You guys are not shopping mall people. I'm taking it. Yeah, no, I no, I no. avoid <laughs> that part of the mall at all costs. Yeah. I I, <laughs> I, 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 I give I, gunplay. I, I, I youths <laughs> outside that have the perfume, dude. <laughs> I. I legit will like <laughs> walk as far away from the opening of of uh, pink as I can because that place just reeks. You can see it wafting and <laughs> wafting in. Yeah. yeah, it's disgusting. Jeez. I don't know how anybody likes that stuff. It doesn't smell good at all. It it, it just. It it's smells like chemicals. So that's that's yeah. my excuse why Bigfoot's never come up. <laughs> he doesn't <laughs> want it. I might. Anything to do. He's like, like a Giardia and dysentery. He's like, this guy's fucking gross. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like sweat and desperation. Sweat and fucking weird liquid poo. Fuck, <laughs> 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 no, I'm cool. It's, it's like when you go into the bathroom at work and somebody's just taking a big shit and then sprayed the uh, Lysol and you get the both the smells at once. And you're like, oh God! It's like it's like the video of the little girl says, "Mommy, my my fart is on the floor." <laughs> oh boy! Uh, what? <laughs> All right, Bigfoot, real or not? I'll start. I'm saying no. Oh man, I'm a no. I I I want to believe it's real. I've not been. I have not seen or done anything that would make me really believe. But I I I'd like to believe it's real. But you might. Well, geez, there were, I mean, almost two dozen uh, hominid species living simultaneously on yeah. planet Earth at one point. And Neanderthal lived for a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, I'd like to think it's possible. I mean, just because there's not... And Neanderthals get a bad rap. They get a bad rap. But, oh, yeah, no, there's plenty of but inter- to today, though. Danny DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, yeah. I, but today, I mean, there was, yeah, I know that there was, you know, hominid species. You a know, bunch of, so I'm bunch. sure there's, you know. Do you think one has been able to carry? Me, me, it's possible. Mm-hmm. Maybe they're slow to reproduce. Yeah. Right? Maybe yeah. they're just smaller uh, family groups. Eating bulbs and shit. Yeah. It's totally possible. All right. Because so, we do find new species. Well, it's still true. To this day, like, that's true. Just not typically in places that have been logged. <laughs> Yeah. A thousand times, right? right? It's like because we have yeah. sent choppers and uh, dudes walking around up there to do uh, land surveys, look for minerals, look for yeah. gold for the last couple hundred years. Yeah. But Canada's vast, Yukon is vast, yeah. yep. Cascade ranges. If they can walk mountain ranges, if they can walk coastlines and eat seaweed and shit, yeah. right? There's a lot of places where they don't have to be near us. Right? Yeah. And if they can, if their smell is you know halfway between us and dogs. Right, they know when we're coming. They can hide. You know what I mean? Yeah, just yeah. Yeah, squat down yeah. like that. If he wasn't moving before, him, you wouldn't have seen. And him. just squat, you would not have seen. Especially him. if they right. douse themselves in Axe body spray. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> like, I've seen people like that see a cougar up in a tree, and you don't see it until you see it, and it's yeah. terrifying. And at that point, it's, it's might too be too late. late. Man, yeah, because yeah, they'll drop. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I mean, animals like, that need to be stealthy to survive are stealthy. But apes aren't stealthy. There's no stealthy ape. Well, I disagree. There are, are some. There I apes? think, yeah, because they like even your your largest uh, uh, gorillas, right? They will bunch up in a group and hide in tall grass. I mean, we know where they are because we've been studying their groups sure. for a long time, but I think they're, they're, they and they're fairly and stealthy. And they're also in a group. And they're shy yeah. creatures. So, so maybe True. Bigfoot is a little more solitary. Yeah. But, but human hominids aren't great at being, we're not tigers. No. Right? Yeah. And mm-hmm. we function a lot better in groups. We yeah. really do. And I would tend to think that a Bigfoot yeah. is kind of going to be the same way. But What about our Canadian yeah. guest? What do you oh, think? Yeah, yeah. Bigfoot? <laughs> I mean, I would think they're just common. I believe... I believe I've never seen one, but I do. I think uh, I agree. Like I think something definitely at least existed and lived with humans, if not still existing. There is a lot of wilderness. I tend to think there could be a lot more mystery. Do, out do they the have? Wilderness. Do they have cryptid? Up in in your part of Canada? No, my my part of Canada was like flat prairie land. Think like uh, eastern Montana. Okay. So it was like 
flat nothing fields everywhere it wasn't like the great white north it wasn't the wild. tall trees it wasn't no, tall trees no, we, no. Tall trees. Like, we went up there were... into like the, that area but but the question is are there is, are there cryptids that are known for being in your part of canada do you, oh, sure, you like, like manitou or uh, you know, canadian chupacabras cryptids. oh yeah. hmm. they're just bigfoot yeah nothing that that i can recall okay just bigfoot yeah what are the deer yeah. humanoid things like a like a humanoid with a yeah. deer head what not, I don't know. Oh, I it was oh like fey, Am I making fey that up? beings? Kind of, but I think <laughs> I, I think yeah. you're thinking of the Wendigo. Wendigo, maybe. Yeah, hmm. that yeah. was the jackalope. The jackalope. jackalope. I was just thinking about that. But jackalope is, <laughs> yeah. is, is is that a is that a Canadian thing? Did that? I, don't not know. A I think they're great. I think that's like an Arkansas <laughs> thing. <Yeah. or> <laughs> Arkansas. We got jackalope, <laughs> which is basically just a, a a rabbit, a hare with with uh with like with deer antlers. deer antlers. Yeah, right? yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. 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 Uh, poor little bunnies. <laughs> no man. Just leave the bunnies. And they, you know, they probably had to, had to evolve with, with antlers to keep the farmers away from them. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's really hard to live. I, I would guess in a warren underground with yeah. friggin' handlers <laughs> trying to... Yeah. Trying to but how do you get to compete for the ladies? Yeah. <laughs> well, they probably don't... The Jackalopes probably don't go underground. I probably just, I'm just thinking tall, about rabbits. Tall grass. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but I... I just, Yay or nay, sir? Oh, I said no. I'm oh, not, a, no. I'm not okay. a believer. I, I, just, I only, only asked that of Kyle because I know that, like, in BC, they they have like Bigfoot sightings and stuff, and that will go popo or whatever, right? Oh yeah, yeah the 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 uh, the, 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 the Pacific Northwest version of, of Nessie, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm sure there is. Like I'm sure like the Cree was the tribe up there mm-hmm. that has a reservation. They probably have something, and then in e- northeastern Canada, I'm sure there's stuff. I, there just wasn't. You know what? That I, was I'm, I'm, I have I have Google right here. I can oh. I can. All right, I'm sure there. Yeah, and, and I mean that's kind of. You know, part of the human myth. Weird also, creatures right? of That's, Saskatchewan yeah, probably yeah, not yeah. going to get you much besides <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. humans. Yeah. yeah <laughs> I, think I, did a, you live downtown. Yeah. <laughs> I think I did a soccer exchange up in Saskatchewan. Right? Oh, yeah? Eh, maybe not. It, uh, Saskatoon is in BC, right? No, it's no, in no, Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. Yeah. How big of a town is it? Uh, it's like uh, a little smaller than Spokane, 250,000. Right, right. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. And then it's about. Probably six hours north of like okay. East Montana. Are there like refineries up there? They got stuff like uh, that. It's mostly like canola and wheat fields, right. and then potash. Yeah. Potash is a huge industry in sure. northern Saskatchewan. Right, what is yeah. potash? It's a uh, uh, ash not, from uh, pot. Potassium, right? That's how you get <laughs> yeah, potassium it's a, into plants and uh, key fertilizer yeah. ingredient. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Yeah. And they mine it. I don't know. I can't think of what it looks like, but it's really vital. It's a vital. Do yeah, they actually part of the, the three main nutrients yeah. for plants? Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do they Pot just process it by chewing it up? And or do they have ground, to burn yeah. it? I think they just dig it out of the ground and yeah. just mix it up with fertilizer yeah. with nitrogen and, okay. and phosphorus. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Mm-hmm. And PK. Yeah. 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 Oh. Okay. No Bigfoot stuff. Do you have dual citizenship? You don't, do you? I do. Oh, yeah, you do? Nice. Okay. Yeah, jeez. Okay. Yeah. 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 I don't awesome. have a Canadian passport, though. I can get one, and I just haven't. I should. Yeah. It's been one of those, yeah, I should do that, but just never get around to doing it. Yeah, <laughs> kind of moment. Kyle's, I mean, Kyle's really CIA. Dual citizenship, too? Mm-hmm. Do, they get, do your kids get... No. Because oh. they're wherever you're, they're born. You're born. So I was oh, born... Got it. Yeah. Long story short, I was born in the U.S. to American parents. Oh. They moved to Canada when I was three months old. And then I lived in Canada until I was 15. So I lived long enough to apply for and receive uh, naturalized uh, citizenship uh, okay. in Canada. Hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I know that um, my mom's mother was from Ireland. and My mom had dual citizenship. And my sister got dual citizenship, I think. And I can if I had the money to. Because it okay. requires you getting a... Uh, you have to... What? I'll give you the money, dude. I swear to God. Let's make that it's like, it's like It's like three or four hundred bucks. Oh, fuck. I, that would be awesome, dude. Because then we could all go. I'll just glom off. <laughs> not, I think the way, the, way you, the way you get the dual citizenship is you have to get like a, a passport in Ireland. So you have to travel over there, uh, I think, and then get the... Yeah, I don't know. Is it on my list? It really it's, is. Ireland's I mean, got some trouble. I'm going in like yeah. three months, four right. months, yeah, uh, yeah. five I'm months. Oh, man. But they're having some troubles right now. Have you heard the news on rednecks that? Rednecks are on the rise. Yeah. Right? Yeah. What's happening in so, Ireland? Rednecks on the rise? Oh, well, yeah. so they, Ireland? they've been bitching about uh, immigration. Yeah, that uh, Specifically, thing. a lot of Ukrainians have been moving up there, right? Yeah, oh. But I'm 99% sure it's people who are brown. Brown, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just so easy. Well, an immigrant... Uh, 
uh, stabbed like three school children did outside that, of a was school. Was it really an immigrant? Oh, I think so. Because okay, I, I I never had heard who the so a lot of was. anti-immigration yeah. sort of right wing groups have been rioting. <laughs> um, just glom right on. Yeah, just, yeah. There you go. Nuts. Turtle Lake Monster. Oh, Turtle Lake Monster. Okay. Yeah, according to the Cryptid kind of Wiki, like a- the uh, Saskatchewan has the Turtle Lake Monster, and it says here, uh, the Turtle Lake Monster is alleged cryptid inhabiting Turtle Lake huh. in West Central you Saskatchewan, Canada. Turtle, Turtle Lake? I don't know Turtle Lake. Hmm. It's a big province. It looks yeah. it looks like yeah. a cross. All between, of them are. <laughs> it, it looks like a cross between like Nessie and a horse. It, it has, a, like a, horse. It has a horse's head. Jeez, I want to be friends with it. Yeah. Thing. I want to hang out with the, <laughs> what's it called again? The Turtle Lake Monster. Turtle Lake Monster. monster? No. That's a better name. Kind of an assumption. Yeah. Turtle Lake Awesomeness <laughs> is what it should be called. Yeah. Yeah. If he had a unicorn horn, we'd love him. Yeah. I, <laughs> I care about her heart right on his chest and shit. We'd fucking make I, that Making friend. wishes to yeah. the turtle leg <laughs> I, I think he, he should definitely have like a like a local like a local like whatever word is for Sign. you know and, and a word for like you know creature or, or big animal or whatever hmm. how big is that lake does it say uh, I don't know we might have to make a road trip uh, <laughs> yeah, <don't laughs> I'll go. Kyle's got citizenship go we can get in <laughs> <laughs> up on turtle lake yeah. and you don't have family up there now right I do not know just uh, friends just and friends they all, that they all moved there. to Alberta for oil money yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yep. Okay, That's apparently cool. from the a comments, like, is it uh, the image doesn't match the description. The image shows it has a horse head, uh, while the description says it has a dog head. No, either way, I'm, <laughs> well, I'm in. Well, maybe. Potato, I'm, potato. Yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going <laughs> to shame I mean, the I, guess, I mean, if it has the head of a horse, it's got to be a pretty good-sized animal. If it's got a head of a dog, it's not going to be very big. Well, it uh, could be one of them little mini horses. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there was a famous mini horse. Yeah. Uh, wasn't Sebastian or whatever. <laughs> yeah, there's some famous mini horse. Well, what if he's like a Lipizzan stallion? Lilliput. He's all like a, a horse from Lilliput. <laughs> Roy Monster. Oh my god. Uh, Just very elegant, a little, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you wonder if, if it, little uh, pushes just ride like chihuahuas or something. Is yeah, oh my god. Well, yeah. see chihuahuas would be terrifying. <laughs> yeah, it would. Yeah, trying to bite your nuts <laughs> off while you're swimming. <laughs> Uh, holy uh, shit boy. well this is about conspiracy uh, theories yeah, I think we're having too much um, here's a here's a website I found and this guy in January it's kind of a Q a non website kind of that flavor I don't know if he's 4chan yeah well, not really 4chan but, it's 8 Kuhn now but uh, yeah I didn't write down the name of the website but this guy made a uh, prediction 10 conspiracy theories that he thought would see the day of light or the light of day uh, this year 2023 oh, so, sure. by, so he's got like what four weeks now <laughs> to see if these happen, yeah. this is for all these to yeah, come true. So putting a date on it, that's the, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's always the, the, the worst that's thing that's to that's do. A, yeah. But uh, his number ten was that the role of the intel community and the Justice Department played in fomenting violence through psyops on January 6, twenty twenty one, will be exposed. Uh, so well, I would say that's a you know to quote mm-hmm. Hillary Clinton, that's a it was a vast right wing conspiracy. Thank you. Very well, much. yeah, yeah, but. He's saying that it was the Justice Department and the there was some intelligence. Shifty, there was some shifty behavior. Yeah. Well, that's with what the capital state, the yeah. state, the capital police. There was some weird behavior from them uh, in that day. Sure, but Opening also boundaries. they're just fucking. Yeah, but but I think some of them a police love right wing. <laughs> the they love yeah, why? They yeah. fucking love autocrats. Yeah. yeah so you are telling me that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The Seattle Police Department had the most. Yeah. Uh, their the contingency from Seattle Police was huge. Yeah. Like hanging out there, like participating. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. <laughs> like being members of the of the mob. Of the mob. Yeah. yeah. Oh jeez. Yeah. Lawlessness yeah. coming from Seattle Police. Yeah. yeah. You don't say. But you're right. Yeah. You're, you are right, because that would have been Justice Department and Intel community would have been Bill Barr, unless he's yeah. suggesting that it's like deep state, deep state, deep state. career Maybe. Justice Department I people. And, and, I mean, Bill Barr is one of the most evil, corrupt pieces of shit this country has ever seen. He's a terrible fucking human being yeah. and an awful American. But uh, even he pushed back on yeah. January the 6th a little. 
Yeah. And I know that there are uh, members of Congress that are still trying to blame the FBI for not reacting and responding mm-hmm. and doing yeah. some yeah. stuff. So. Yeah, well, geez, okay. But but I think most of that blame should really be laid at the commander-in-chief's yeah. lap. Thank yeah. you very much. Right? I blame he was kinda... Buffalo guy, Buffalo head guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Ch- Chansley or whatever his <laughs> the, name the, is. The, oh the QAnon <laughs> shaman. Yeah, yeah he's, he's got... The, the he's, dual, dual digit IQ, mother. I think he... Yeah. Didn't he <laughs> Didn't he just get out of, out of I think jail he did. or whatever? He did like eight months. He's or he's, he's like he's doing like a. a yeah, he's he, going to run for Congress. He's, yeah, <laughs> he was doing something where he he's on like podcast and oh, stuff. Oh, oh, for sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So I guess yeah. that one gets it. Eh. Yeah, well, it hasn't. He's got four weeks okay. before it's really exposed. <laughs> yeah, but I don't uh, think so. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Number nine, and I, I, you're, you've, everybody's here is vaccinated, right? Oh yeah, COVID nineteen. I got the. Vac- I didn't get the boosters, but I didn't get the, the boosters. First, the yeah. first two. Or yeah, I, I got all the boosters. Yeah. So I still haven't gotten my five G. His I'm, number I'm nine <laughs> is exactly that. Todd is the deadly impact of the COVID vaccines will become undeniable. That means nanobots, five G <laughs> microchips, now, now all that stuff. It into uh, it's hard. Heart disease. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, the, 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 the because the guy from the Buffalo disease. Bills. I guess, but you got to remember. I mean, COVID numbers never reach heart disease numbers. Heart disease yeah. kills Americans yeah. left, right, and yeah. center. Yeah. Right, and I mostly blame pulled pork sandwiches. <laughs> um, so that, delicious. <laughs> You know, we just need to do long-term data cold, dives, cold. but you can't trust the data. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, I just know that, and I've got a buddy who's just absolutely believes that those vaccines are just killing Americans. Yeah. Well, my friend so-and-so died from liver cancer. It had to have been the vaccine. He was an alcoholic for 50 fucking years. No lie. It's yeah. like, how come none of the uh, obvious causation is the obvious causation? It's right? the 50-year smoker that gives lung cancer yeah. and blames Fuck, it on the vaccine. It was the vaccine. It's just a comorbidity. Yeah. It's just yeah. a comorbidity. Yeah. To the yeah, it, but it really hurts my failings. And I think it's very <laughs> dangerous, right? Yeah. But but right wingers, the controlling, powerful right wing always loves to poo poo the intellectuals, right? The intellectual elites. This is Trump's this vaccine. Thing. Trump launched yeah, this vaccine. Sure did. That's true. Sure did. That's true. <laughs> but, but, but it was Fauci. <laughs> it was Fauci yeah. and Bill Gates. Oh yeah. man, it's just so <laughs> weird. It's just so I, weird. It's like and I mean the and I'm not gonna defend fucking big pharma, right? Even though vaccines in general have saved probably billions, yeah, right? Yeah. At least hundreds of millions of humans, probably billions, right? Throughout, you know, smallpox. It's, I mean, just run down the list, right? You know what's kicked its ass in life-saving? <laughs> Hand washing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And plumbing. Yeah. yeah. I, I, but I, but I got, some stuff. I that, digress. Sorry. Yeah, but you know, you're not lying. You're absolutely correct. I, I got into a huge, huge heated discussion about 5G about a year and a half ago with somebody, and they were like, no, man, they're doing this. And, you know, it's, it's affecting the, the COVID and blah, 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 blah. I was like, no, that's not how it works. Technology does not. Does it does not have anything work. to do no. with viruses. It doesn't work Weird that way. Nanobot dog shit. It's is just it, so fucking dumb. And when they were like, yeah. no, it's you know, it's blah 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 blah. It's like, no, that is not. You, you know what five G stands for? Fifth generation mobile internet. That's all it means. <laughs> yeah, but it works for Iron Man, man. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, CGI. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. So, it is, all right. Uh, so we all agree that yeah, that's probably that's that's absolute dumb. bullshit. Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, number. Eight, the scope of China's control over the United States government will become clearer. This right. Year. Mm, any evidence of that anyway? Uh, no, I haven't seen I, that. I would say Xi that Jinping came to San Francisco. Sure did. and got treated uh, way better than he should have. Elon yeah. Musk yeah. shook his hand and shit. Yeah. It's like, you know, that guy's still butchering people, right? And the, yeah. the, the people. Chinese yeah. Navy yeah. And, and air uh, yeah. force are fucking with our, our ships, although yeah. we're sort of in a aggressive stance there. What's the name of that sea that we're in? Uh, China Sea. Oh, okay, just check it. So it's uh, pretty adversarial still. It's very adversarial. Yeah. And, and I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to defend the Chinese government ever. No. Ever. Awful. Awful, awful, awful. Uh, yeah. That, that being said. I don't see any difference. That's any imperialist relationship. Powers, imperialist power, yeah. dude. And, it, I mean, the you know, the, the happenings in Israel, like in 9-11, all this ties together to me to saying that the military industrial complex is the problem. Yeah. Worldwide. Yeah. yeah, yeah right. Yeah. That's the Perpetual. problem. They're, they're the ones, yes, mm-hmm. that continually need to hunger. Yeah. Man. Right. For these conflicts. Well, you if know? you can't, if you're not going to buy my bombs anymore, what am I going to do with all my infrastructure? Yeah. yeah. And I would say <laughs> that, you know, Chinese influence, any 
anywhere in the world. Chinese governmental influence anywhere in the world is bad, but they're what they're doing in Africa right now is friggin' scary. It's it's four dimensional chess, though, man. Yeah, and we've just squandered and any kind of opportunity totally. of real goodwill. Totally, you know what yeah. I mean? It's like and. You know, any power that the Chinese have, just like House of Saud, et cetera, et cetera, is because we got sold out by our corporate yeah. masters. Oh, yeah. Right? Be- because they infiltrated the people's houses, et cetera, and are able to make legislation, all these weird, uh, you know, allowing our corporations to sell us out. Right? Nonstop. At least since Reagan, if not yeah. in this latest round. Right? Yeah. And it's just awful. That's how the... Chinese have gathered these trillions of dollars, yeah. right? And that's how, right. you know, uh, Wall Street has gathered these trillions of dollars by eliminating American labor, right? And shifting stuff to where they don't have uh, environmental laws, labor laws, said blah, 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 yeah. blah, right? And I'm sure that this uh, Chinese control over the U.S. No, has yeah. a lot to do with the Hunter Biden stuff. No, and trying to claim does. that, yeah, yeah. you know, the Chinese are paying Hunter and stuff like that. Yeah. And I'm not saying that guy is a saint at all. And, yeah, it is a little uh, fishy that this guy uh, got millions of dollars from foreign governments. I know he's a private citizen, but he does have a very public uh, yeah. family. Yeah, yeah, no, it was a And I don't, yeah. but I think it's funny that Comer, uh, Congressman mm-hmm. Comer, has been, like, trying to get him in to testify yeah. and has subpoenaed him. And Hunter Biden's lawyer came out yesterday and was like, yeah, I'll come and testify. It just has to be an open. Yeah, not, not behind closed doors. Not behind doors. closed doors. Yeah. As long as it's an open uh, yeah. hearing, I'm all for it. Yeah. And I'll be there. Guys are, we're truth seeking. Yeah. We're going to be nonstop <laughs> vigilant in finding the truth behind closed doors. Behind closed doors. Where we get to edit and, and we can control the, the information yeah. coming yeah. out of it yeah so fucking stupid just, uh, <sighs> i don't know but but yes robust investigations real investigations no issue. Uh, all the time no issue but because we have to be a nation under the law yeah right if, if you don't one, investigate it you don't uh you don't call attention to it you don't convict on it everybody's gonna do it yeah and then it becomes a training mission to how to how to do it yeah. better next time yeah, yeah. no and yeah. that and that's the point man it, I mean of all of it and I was thinking about it today because you know the Jews have been you know have had the capital of Jerusalem since about 1200 BC right but it took 24 hundred years for even the Magna Carta to come around yeah 24 hundred oh, years 2400 years since when since 1200 BC right because it was about 1200 AD when we got the Magna Carta right 1100 the Magna Carta 1180 yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah. that's Right? But 1,200 years from when? From 1,200 B.C. From when the Jews had Jerusalem. Yeah. Okay. So that was kingdoms, but they still had yeah, a yeah. rule of law, yeah. but it just didn't really work for all citizens. <laughs> and the Magna Carta was kind of a rule of law, but it didn't really work for all citizens. So then after get that, it was another 600 years Before the until we even had a constitutional republic, right? Yeah. And a little more. It's like, people, please hold on to this. Yeah. Right. Without the rule of law, we sink quickly into way worse times. Yeah. Please. Chaos. Pretty please. Yeah. Pretty please. Thank you. Yeah. Just, thank you. So, so uh, uh, number top. eight, China <laughs> control. Yeah, we, no we haven't learned anything. It, more. Let's throw off the yokes of our corporate masters, and then that ruins that whole power scheme. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This was interesting because this guy actually just testified uh, a few days ago, but the true nature of David De Pepe's relationship with Paul Pelosi will be revealed. Is he the guy who he's the guy that beat him with a hammer? Oh my god! Because <laughs> everybody was like, "Oh, he's got to be uh, Pelosi's gay lover. He's got to be." Yeah, what you the know, fuck was that about? There's the no, guy that yeah, broke yeah, into their friggin' yeah, house yeah. to do damage and smack him on he had the a head fucking with a hammer. hammer. Yeah. Why was he his lover? I don't, he, I, I don't know. They're just trying to come up with yeah, something. No, just a besmirch. Yeah. Well, well, no. Yeah, what what gave that some gas was somebody like threw that out just chaotically and randomly and then Elon Musk like retweeted it yes. or something yeah. and yes. gave it a lot of like spotlight and yeah, so now that's I mean, somehow yeah. like in the zeitgeist yeah. of that doesn't make any fucking sense <laughs> no, it's, it's that doesn't totally make weird. any sense no, at all. it just shows <laughs> that Musk is an asshole he it really was is. because they, when the cops got there in the body cam footage there's Paul Pelosi in his boxer shorts and a, in a t-shirt or whatever and there's the guy and Paul Pelosi's not like rushing to the cops like help me save me whatever he's holding the the hammer with the guy at the same time for dear life yeah right he's like holding that hammer so the guy doesn't swing doesn't it bash at his brain right mm-hmm. yeah. and everybody's like well look he's not 
he's not like freaking out. He's not like fighting. Yeah. The, he's not rushing to the cops saying, shoot him, shoot him, you know, anything like that. And that's the, like the impetus for he must be his gay lover. This is not an endorsement. Lover this is not an endorsement of the Pelosi family's ethics. No, I, I, I agree. <laughs> but, I agree. But a lie on top of that is not yeah. helpful. No, it's not. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Elon Musk, in the last, speaking to him, in the last couple of weeks, he's re affirmed this whole Pizzagate thing. Have you seen oh my this? God. Oh no. my God. He's, but, like, but he's ended up just a piece of shit. I don't understand it. No, uh, and I really don't think he believes these things. He just needs the rabble to defend yeah, him. Yeah, right? Yeah. It's so dicky. It's yeah. so in so predictable, and then he gets to feel like he's smarter than. Yeah. Right? Because you get some fucking rabble who want to be... Ryle. He's already smarter yeah. than. He doesn't have to do anything. No, I'm though. not terribly convinced he is. I think he's richer than. Well, no, no, no. But I can't he, think but, of any. He's a, an engineer of some nature. I gotta say, I know yeah, he yeah. started on third base and claims yeah. he hit the home run yeah. and made the money, but he, he got his wealth, and you have to have some it is level have, of intelligence. I don't know. I, don't know. I, mean, you, Donald, I got two words for you. Donald Trump. Well, yeah, he's not smart, but you I, can bully your way through, and it's I, really I hard for the wealthy to lose their money. Yeah, Elon wasn't right? super duper wealthy, and he did His build. family was super wealthy. What are you talking about? Medium wealthy. I mean, he's well, not had, billionaires. They, they, they're not billionaires. They had, they had the blood mines, though, I thought. But they weren't billionaires. But, but billionaires. They were probably multi-millionaires. Yeah, but that's still fucking rich. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I agree. Totally agree. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally agree. Totally yeah. agree. Yeah. And that's why I say, yeah. you know, he started on third base and yeah. says he hit her home well, run by being bankruptcy able to... bankruptcy protections, not yes. these other protections that middle yeah. class and lower class yeah. people don't. Yeah. Right? So it's like, they, the, the third base base thing is more than just money. True. Right? Because the yeah. rules are written for them to succeed yeah. more probably than regular folk. Yeah. Right? I would love to be proven wrong on that. Yeah. I would love to think that it really was an even mm. playing field uh, in the rules of engagement. But I'm not ever convinced because I've, my experience shows me otherwise. Yeah. The free, I, I don't I, know. And I, plus, I, don't, I just feel like he's kind of a Nazi sympathizer. And I would love to be wrong on that. because I, I don't, don't understand why he's doing all this anti-Semitic stuff. I mean, I other know. than being anti-Semitic, but, I mean, he's losing advertising weird. left and right. Yeah, and it, well, he doesn't care. Yeah. Right, because because he, he's already got you know two hundred billion dollars, losing fucking forty why, on Twitter doesn't matter. Well, yeah, doesn't fucking just, matter. I don't get it. Does he want to just bring Twitter down? I don't know. And the... and for the record, and I'll say this out loud, but uh, being anti-Israeli policy is yeah. not anti-Semitic. What Those do you do? Yeah, what did he do that was I think he's retweeting a bunch of stuff that yes. has gone back to like the Daily Stormer and these like Nazi, sorry, these Nazi uh, propaganda rigs. Basically, so he retweets stuff that really is, or he'll comment on it yeah. in an affirmative. Okay, so it's yeah. kind of okay. It's like in that kind of stuff. It's not. And I've heard him say, you know, that that Twitter was a, a radical left wing. <laughs> yeah, it was. Like, I don't that, think, that was a conspiracy that got proved right by his releasing of those Twitter files. How much they, the left they, they was were embedded in? Yeah, Twitter. I don't consider them they the were left. Suppressing well, yeah. whoever it was did, the corporate need, interest. They were suppressing yeah, yeah. right wing stuff. Big time on Twitter. Yeah, but the right wing stuff isn't really right wing stuff. It's radical authoritarianist. Well, whatever, yeah. whatever, whatever you, you know what I mean? There was, like, there was political yeah. like, fingers well, in the pot. Agreed, agreed. But yeah. it's also a private organization. They because can do that. A, a right? lot, yeah. Yeah. Like, a, a lot so, of you know. what was being said by the right wing people on Twitter was a lot of like misinformation too. Yeah. And, and not to say that, I'm, but but I'd also that's why it got suppressed because it was misinformation. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, like, he yeah. released the files and showed that yes, in fact, the government is influencing this social media company. Sure. Uh, so they they do have their fingers in it. There is something behind the curtain affecting. Sure. And the, and, the, and I mean, I think that's important we, for us to know. Like, it's, yeah, it's, agreed. And, and that's that one more that. thing we should be shining a light on, yeah. right? Because yeah. that kind of like corporate and government influence, they call yeah. that fascism. Yeah, right. That get is get the those two things mixed together, yeah. right? It's like, <laughs> yeah. and that's a dangerous thing to do. Oh, and people yeah. need to understand that social media is not news. I mean, yes, CNN, news. CNN yeah. can yeah. post a story on there yeah. where you can read what they actual yeah. news, but yeah. it's not news. It, it really is. is. Twitter, both Facebook, Instagram, yeah. it's not fucking news. No. And it's like well, back in the old I days, mean, it was dittos. And there'd be some dingbat handing out dittos down on a street corner somewhere. Right? But now it's right. like, it's different. And the algorithms are are just kind of gamed. It's like, I don't know, we need to regulate the internet like a utility. Yeah. Right? Because that's the only way we can. I don't know about that. I, I, think, I think we that, have to. If we don't, we're sunk. We're sunk. I mean it. Because it's obvious that these uh, modern technologies are influencing world societies in a way that is very anti-democratic. Honest to God, because 
you know, they're just believe in that power pyramid. Right, they really do. All the corporate models do that. Just like back, you know, in the last century, it was the oil barons who did that. And then the coal barons and the railroad barons, where they want to concentrate power away from us into themselves. Right. right. So they're using these media landscapes to do so. It's fucking obvious. Right? It's not good. I, I agree with that. It should be regulated. It is becoming a public square of sorts. Yeah. And so, there ne- it's got to be well regulated, though, yes. and it's got to be. Uh, I mean, even the FCC is very political, um, so you can't. You, it is. A, I think Todd's kind of alluding to maybe that it's a slippery slope, yeah. right? You start regulating, so, yeah, over regulating, I mean, and yeah, who's controlling been, the regulation? Been, television trying, is right. Been, we have plenty of television. True. So, oh, sorry, Todd. They're 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 try- they've been trying to put regulations in place on the internet, which. Basically says you can't do this, this, or this on the internet. What's going to stop him from making it so you can't do anything without paying extra for it? I mean, it, or just not allowing you to say anything on the internet without you know some sort of pre-approval before it gets posted. Well, they just let companies charge you like slow your internet down if you're not a high-paying customer, right? That was a recent thing where they yeah. now oh, like unless Comcast you pay extra, or something. like you, they could, you'll have slow internet during peak. They times. throttle it, yeah. They yeah. throttle it. And I didn't yeah. used to be able to do that. I think that's kind of a newer. Yeah, well, I think in, since COVID has become a thing, companies are are getting very greedy with their shit, and they're like, well, we're. You know, like on th- on Black Friday, a lot of things were on sale, but they weren't on sale. They said sale price, but if you go back a, a week or two with the same price for the same thing, there was yeah. My a- favorite meme right now is like the the Mel Gibson Braveheart, and he's yelling. It shows a price like eight hundred ninety nine dollars. It's hold eight hundred ninety nine dollars. Hold, <laughs> and then it's Black Friday deal, and it's eleven ninety nine crossed out, but eight hundred ninety nine dollars. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or it's not really on sale. Yeah. Just, yeah. They raise the price to put it on sale. <laughs> right. And, and grocery stores do that anyways. Uh, I mean, you go into the grocery store and uh, it used to be that you you could go down the soda aisle and get like a two liter of the store brand for less than a dollar. Like mm. between like 75 and 89 cents or whatever it is. I think that's the uh, that's the uh, hospital helicopter. Huh. Oh, Fly I was going to say they're they're shutting us down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. <laughs> they're but rappelling yeah, onto yeah. the roof right now, <laughs> coming to get us. All right, let's keep going with this. Uh, the, that was the Pelosi one. Uh, number six for him, and we all do agree that in this guy testified, yeah. and he's a dingbat. The, the David De, De Pepe yeah. guy is a dingbat, and it's not. Uh, Paul Pelosi's packing some... Uh... <laughs> Uh, number six for him was, and this is his words, we will find out what Trump's purloined Mar- Mar-a-Lago files really contained. His words. So his, in his words that they were stolen from Trump, right? <laughs> Not he was holding on to the deep state secret. Yeah. Oh, so wow. we're going to find out that what he had was crap on, you know, the deep state and all this other stuff, <laughs> yeah. right? And he kept it in a box. And he kept it in his bathroom. Oh, my God. So shitty. Is that what <laughs> His that fucking just, no pun intended, yeah. Mike. So awful. <laughs> so bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, and and we really don't know, and we and we shouldn't probably know a lot of the the top secret stuff that was in there. Um, I mean, there, there's an argument between the yeah. judge, is it, uh, the, the, and the prosecutors, because they don't want they want Trump lawyers and everybody to go to a skiff in Miami, I think it is, because that's the closest skiff that's available. And Trump is trying to say, no, we can set up a, a skiff basically at Mar-a-Lago, right? <laughs> and the, the prosecutor is like, are you fucking crazy? <laughs> We're going to take the documents back to Mar-a-Lago? Oh my that's what got well, into it, trouble it, in the it, first to place. Me, it, it's less important what's in them than the fact they were never his property. To begin yeah. with, yeah. Right? It's like, if I you know, come over to Todd's house and take his TV home with me. It doesn't matter if it's a big TV, small TV, <laughs> color TV, black and white TV. It's not my property. It's Todd's property. Yeah, yeah. That's all that matters. Yeah. Yeah. You can't have my TV, I, Mike. Yeah, I know, because it's a dick move, and I don't want to be a dick to Todd. Yeah. <laughs> so we're not going to find out any, and I don't think we're going to get any information what's actually in the files other than the fact that they are top secret. Sure. 
And, and to me, it doesn't even matter if they're top secret. It's, it's really just not doesn't. his property. It's not his, it's property. Not his fucking yeah. property. Yeah. So. I, I just think it's hilarious that all these things that they're, you know, they're insinuating that the left is doing. I think it's everything they're doing. Yeah. It's just a lot of deflection. In yeah. Isn't it, yeah. What's the Freudian uh, term for that? They're the all corrupt shitheads. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And they're all and they're all stupidly guilty of it. Joe Biden, yeah. uh, Mike Pence, everybody. And there's probably tons of congressmen and senators out there mm-hmm. that have done the same thing. The issue with Trump, though, is that he was told he needs to give it back. Yeah. And he was given yeah. several opportunities yeah. to yeah. do yeah. so, yeah. and he refused. Well, yeah, 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 and that there needs to be an example made that this is not how the system this works. This does not work. This just can't. Like, yeah, yep. yeah. We're, we and we need to get a better under the law. Yeah, yeah. Right? And we need to get a better handle on our yeah. fucking top secret shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's got to be. Anyway, a, that's also, I mean, if I go to the library, if I go to the library, I've got to sign yeah. out the book. Yeah, for, and, for a hop on top, right. you got to fucking sign out for that fucking thing. <laughs> and I have to give it back, otherwise they let me know that it's missing. So I don't know why there's not a. Then they charge you for it. They did right because there was the archive branch. Yeah, right. but who knows yeah. how many copies were made? How many? It, yeah, well, that's how this stuff yeah. was able to even get into yeah. a banker box and onto a truck and driven to Mar-a-Lago yeah. is yeah, just yeah, bonkers. Yeah. Yeah. It, it wasn't returned within whatever time period it was supposed to. Yeah, I don't know. And, how it yeah. even got out of the White House? Bill Barr, yeah. who believes in the empirical presidency, and all these weird federalist judges. Jesus Christ, they believe in this weird imperialist presidency thing where the president, if he does it, it's okay. Yeah. Like there's some kind of king. And I can't think of anything that is more ridiculous on its face, right? Yeah. That is not constitutional, no. obviously. Right. Uh, it hurts my... So I, I don't think we're going to find out that <laughs> Trump had deep state files and he was protecting us all. No, I, I think, think he is was what trying the to make some money. Illusion was. Uh, number five, uh, and I actually think this one might come true. I don't think it'll be by the end of the year, but that we will learn what the Democrats intend to do with Joe Biden and who will be tapped to replace him. Yeah, I was thinking Gavin Newsom. Yeah, I'm thinking the same but, thing. But then, did you yeah. see what he was just saying about sweeping homeless people under the no. rug? Yeah, when she's coming to town because they had the big, you oh, know, no. big Asian. <laughs> Jeez. partnership meeting and he's just like you know so you cleaned up downtown he's oh all like well God. yeah that's what you do when companies coming over you just yeah, kind of yeah. you know put stuff in the cupboard it's yeah. like oh the so closet. the 20,000 people living outdoors you're putting them in a cupboard somewhere but I do like, believe that Biden is like one <laughs> Gerald Ford uh, Skyway uh, Skybridge yeah. what no, do you call he, it he really away from yeah. not being the no, and they just did a poll where he loses to Trump by quite a bit yeah um, and that's if the 40 million Americans who didn't vote last time still don't vote. Yeah. Uh, sorry, 40 million registered Democrats that didn't, didn't vote. vote last time. Yeah. 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 Uh, it stop that, people. I still don't think yeah. that there's. I, I, but we need somebody else. But yeah. generic Democrat wins. I generic heard Democrat. I know. Biden doesn't, but generic. But generic does. Democrat. There was does. a conspiracy theory I heard okay. this week about. That's this. what this show's about. Uh, yes. They were saying uh, that uh, Joe Biden is going to die. Oh. And that would put Kamala Harris as the first woman president. But. She wasn't born in the USA. No. So it would actually right. go to Nancy Pelosi. No. <laughs> Nancy well, Pelosi's Pelosi out no now. Longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And she was born in Oakland. Yeah, so, but I do, like, I do like Hakeem <laughs> Jeffries. <laughs> sure. I think he's a dynamite. Uh, yeah, but third in line is the speaker, the new know. Mike Johnson guy. Mike Johnson guy. Yeah, that would be yeah, way worse. imagine that? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, no, it's way worse. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Man, but I also, and I was thinking about well, Kamala, Kamala Harris American. yesterday. Was, like, she, yeah, but what in the fuck has she done? Has she just squandered the last three years? Totally. Has she done a fucking Nothing. thing? Nothing. What in the fuck? It's Nothing. a great job, dude. She could be the bully pulpit. Oh, she could God. do all sorts of cool shit. She has not done Just disappeared. Uh, yeah. Pops her head up every once in a while. And I was a fan. Uh, to some degree. To some, some degree. Yeah. Uh, against Trump, I was certainly a yeah. fan. Against uh, Pence, I should say. Um, but, man, just... Remember the fly landing? Oh, my God. She's watching Netflix. I don't know where she went. I don't know. She got tasked with uh, figuring out our, you know, southern border. And some other (laughs) stuff. And a suicide run, right? It's like, who gives that to somebody you like, (laughs) right? Here's a a job for you. Fix the southern border. (laughs) You got six days. (laughs) Uh, So I do do think that that is a possibility. I don't think it'll be by the end of the year, but I I would say by... Maybe Iowa? What's that? Iowa's just, February? Yeah, just a few weeks. Yeah. Yeah. I think Iowa's like five weeks, too. Yeah. Yeah. So this guy I might mean, get one. 
So, he might, uh, maybe, maybe. 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 Yeah, I hope you, I don't want Joe Biden to die. No, I, I of course don't not. want any bad, yeah, of course bad not. kind of shit going on. But, uh, yeah. Oh, what, the sectarian, what are you, sec- sec- uh, the septarians, what is it, what is the 70 year old? Septagenarian. Septagen- but he, yeah. now he's an octogenarian or is whatever. Is he 80? Uh, he's going to be. Yeah. Pretty- an octogenarian? Oh, maybe he did. 81. Just, did he, yeah, yes, he I did. Think you're he right. did. Yeah. Because Trump's yeah, like yeah. 79. Oh, man. Yeah. Which just doesn't necessarily, and I don't know. I mean, there's no rules against it, so I don't yeah. really care. It's, yeah. it's constitutional. But that also shows the problem with the parties, because if you're, you know, faithful to the party long enough, you get moved to the front of the line. Yeah, he wasn't yeah. ever the best candidate. No, 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 no. <laughs> certainly not. I mean, well, there's 330 million Americans, <laughs> and we and can't the two find front runners. Are <laughs> yeah. these two jokers? Yeah, yeah. really. Yeah. That's <laughs> really what we got going for us. Uh, oh my God, it hurts my uh, brain. We need to resurrect uh, and then combine the genes of like a Teddy Roosevelt, Thomas Jefferson, and W. E. B. The voice, <laughs> yeah. Squeeze them well, into hey, one. Can you super get that big. all done? Yeah. Somebody bought this blood-stained leather from the limo. <laughs> we can yeah. get some Kennedy in there. Too. <laughs> get the crisper. Get the, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> a three D oh, print is super big. You, yeah. Oh, yeah, you now have his DNA, so you can just clone him. Yeah, yeah. jeez. Well, if we thought of that, they did. <laughs> yeah, too. The, he's in a lab <laughs> yeah. Yeah. underneath she, Area Fifty One right is now. Buying that leather. <laughs> he's buying the. <laughs> they'll, they'll, they'll end up being like like. Like that episode of the Big Bang Theory where uh, uh, Penny gives uh, Sheldon a, a napkin with uh, Le- Leonard Nimoy's autograph, and she goes, "I'm sorry, it's all smudged because he wiped his mouth with." His, and he he freaked out. I was like, "I have Leonard Nimoy DNA. I could build my wow. own Leonard Nimoy." Oh my god, that that's is great. I mean, they did. Uh, um, Oh, I just did a, a brain, uh, brain aneurysm. Uh, Superman, Red Sun? Maybe? Oh, no, but oh. QAnon did say no. that uh, JFK, well, it was JFK Jr. was going to oh, come back. Yeah. And take no, they said both. They oh, said both of them were going to come back? What initially, the fuck? Uh, initially, they thought Sr. was coming back. Yeah. Yeah. And then at some point, someone said, you know, he'd be like 102 years old. <laughs> So then they're like, oh, you know what? Maybe maybe we read it wrong. It's it's junior. Not if yeah. it's, a bra- it's his brain in a monkey. Yeah, I don't know. That's how you get death cults, people. Because yeah. right? down in Tennessee well, somewhere, there's 12 dude. fucking cousin fucking pieces of dude. shit sitting around in a fucking barn making a death cult right now. You yeah. know the, negative, like, the, the, the negative, same thing. The negative 48 group, which is part of the whole QAnon thing, they're the ones who, like, uh, the guy went over to the pizza place and shot up the place because oh, they thought wow. there was a basement yeah oh the pizza gate yeah. yeah oh my god it's so insane negative 48 started here in, in washington the guy who started it was in yeah, that federal was way and who are those brothers they were in uh they were with uh he recently died secretary too. of state hillary clinton's detail oh fuck i can't remember those guys they were they were uh implicated in that pizza gate thing oh really it's too yeah they're heavy hitters and but you don't hear about them much anymore mm. but i guess the clintons are out of power so why would yeah. they right yeah. if they if they're in the same circle I don't know. It's weird. Humans yeah. are. I don't want to know what humans do behind closed doors, yeah. right? I can tell you. Better you. I, don't not you. I really don't want to. Know. Especially rich. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. poor yeah. and powerful. Yeah. 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 Although, man, I have no poor people who are bags of shit. <laughs> yeah. So it's not exclusive to the True. wealthy. They just have a longer reach for the most part, yeah. right? Oh yeah. No, there's the, no. We're equal opportunity <laughs> bags of oh, shit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Present man. company excluded. Oh, thank you, sir. Obviously. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank uh, you. Yeah. Number four. No. Uh, we will discover the truth. About about the United States Ukraine partnership to research and develop bioweapons. Oh, you remember yeah. that? No. That did that whole that conspiracy was... theory when we started uh, oh, trying to defend yeah. Ukraine against Russia. Oh my god, cuz Russia will money. lie about everything. Yeah. They will they just remember before they invaded they're like we're not going to invade. Yeah. We're, ah. we're just amassing on the border for fun. Yeah. We're, we're, you know what I mean? Just lie after lie we're after lie after lie. No, and, and Hamas recently was like, no, we didn't do that. That was a, the, the whole kidnappings and all that shit. No, no, that was Israeli propaganda. Was but now they're handing them False back. flag operation. Yeah, so if that was a false flag, how do you have these same <laughs> we, we, hostages We rescued the hostages yeah. from, from the... the idea. <laughs> yeah, it's like, man, why do we allow these people to lie to us over and over I and over? And still give them... Our faith, our bodies, our minds. It's so well, they wanna weird. Make, they want to make it messy and weird enough that you just can't pay attention. You yeah, just like, yeah, throw sure, your hands sure, up. Sure. You're like, fuck yeah. it. That's and really what it is, too. Yeah, I think you're right. come up with I something outlandish, right. yeah. and you yeah. just grow tired of arguing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The flat earthers, for one, right? It's like, yeah. at least that's it. Because I want to talk to Shaq. <laughs> 
And I love that Shaq likes fucking flat earth. So it's like the motherfucker's tall enough to see around the curve. It's like he's lying to himself. He doesn't even need a ladder. You know, yeah, dude, you don't need the ship to sail, bro. Like, oh man. But yeah, and all you have to do is hang out on a coastline somewhere and just watch it happen, dude. Right. What the fuck? It's easy. It's easy. Yeah. Well, that means that the ocean just kind of sinks right there. <laughs> <There's a divot. laughs> it just curves off. <laughs> I just can't like, see that far away. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh man. my God. Oh, uh, how about so that one? That one's a, a thumbs down. I don't think we we discovered anything on that. Uh, how about this one? In four weeks, I don't think it's going to happen. The left's plans. Uh, it's going to come to uh, uh, fruition uh, to normalize and mainstream pedophilia. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, the left has this big plan to normalize pedophilia. Yeah, well, geez, I don't see any evidence of that. <laughs> no. And the left is problematic for me. Because yeah, what does that even mean? I don't know. Are they, are they asking to seize the means of production? Well, and I'm sure it's like the Hillary Clinton left, right? I guess, yeah, but i uh, got news, well, people. I, mean, I know. They're, 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 it's, it's their way of saying that. That the the gay agenda, yeah, what yeah exactly. like all the push yeah. for pronouns and transgender. Yeah, but that's right? the same that's as pedophilia. To pedophilia. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, always yeah. been the argument because nobody, just like did Todd described, <laughs> pedophiles are the bottom of the bunch, right? Yeah. Of all crime, we, I mean, humans. Well, consenting just, adults is kind of an important line. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, you know what I mean? big time. But, but if you can more say that this kinda. group uh, yeah. not only defends pedof- pedophilia but wants to groom people into becoming pedophiles or pedophiles, then there, then that they other group is bad. Create, right? Pedophiles. You know what I mean? So yeah, oh. or what? It's just so dumb, and then yeah. and just. But it's just an easy thing, just like, you know, cannibal. you could say cannibal, you could say anything else. So Democrats want to make everybody into cannibals or vegans or <laughs> well, whatever I mean, thing that you want to besmirch, right? Soil like, green. Because that way it makes this yeah. group. Well, remember it's when, just so dumb. Remember when we, we saw that article about, like, 3D printed meat and how the right were, like, completely losing their shit over that? Oh, yeah. They're going to turn us into a bunch of soy boys. They want us to eat bugs. Yes, yeah, soy boy. <laughs> oh, my God. And if, they just, if they can get that right, I will eat it. I love me a steak. And if they can make a 3D printed steak. If it's not burning down the Amazon, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would love one. Great. Yeah. And, and I don't know. I, I don't know. Oh God. But the I think outrage your phones machine, are on top of one of the cables. That's why I keep, I keep hearing the buzzing sound. <laughs> or maybe it's oh. Mike. I don't know. I don't know. All right, uh, number two. Uh, so yeah, there's no global pedophilia well, left I sure wing. Hope not. So, so it's going to come to. Yeah, yeah, let's all kill. Yeah. Let's kill them all if yeah. it's true, yeah. right? Uh, his number two was that the World Economic Forum will lead the way in trying to turn humans into glorified Matrix style batteries. <laughs> that's a big red that's a big pill statement. or blue pill. <laughs> oh a, my god! I did yeah. hear a really neat thing on the uh, local NPR station this weekend. Oh, talking about. When yeah, I don't know if you guys have read the book Lives of a Cell. So, like for the yeah. first just about three billion years on Earth, it was just really simple proto cell things, right? And then all these different things, mitochondria, nucleoids, all these things came together to form a cell, and therefore it could make more complicated things, right? And so the first three billion years, I mean, super simple shit. Right. But then just the mitochondria in our 40 trillion cells produce a tremendous amount of electricity, which I never really thought about. Yeah. So they're kind of the uh, not only a battery, but a defensive mechanism for each cell. They were the energy producer for the cell in hmm. a lot of ways. Right. And they also were kind of a defensive mechanism. And they could be batteries. They could be, yeah. So that's they were right all along. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's also not that much energy. It's way easier to make a solar panel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, we've got uh, four weeks to get yeah. Neo out yeah. there yeah. to yeah. expose on, yeah. all this yeah. stuff. I so. mean, Keanu, we we I know we, we got, need you. You got a lot the on your shoulders, but uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, uh. and Mike, you might uh, this one might be number one for him uh, as the relationship between big tech and the spy agencies becomes clearer. We will learn that our personal devices are tracking our every move. Well, we all fucking know that already. Yeah, that's true. That. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not a prediction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. That was, uh, Dude, of, come on, buddy. That's I don't a, know about our letters, every what? move, but. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. It, it pretty much, it, between having maps on your phone, which tracks your GPS coordinates, 
and like it listens to everything you say. It knows what you want to talk about. Um, that's why when you when you mention you know boner pills, next thing you know you're gonna have all kinds of advertisements for. Yeah, they're yeah. all gonna go boner home and boner pills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> give Viagra <laughs> yeah, <it's>, uh, <laughs> commercials. Uh, well, yeah, I mean the, uh, the like generic anyway. is like Google, ten bucks. Google, so yeah. That's the way to go. Him. <laughs> <laughs> and Google uh, does track you you via the the sorry. maps application. That way they can tr- they can track what stores you've been near and they can show you advertisements for those stores. Well, they'll ask yeah. you to review them. I've gotten a few of them. I've gotten yeah. emails about. You were it. just at ABC Inc. You want to give them a review? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, no, <Jeez. laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. uh, and but there was. I mean, probably almost 10 years now, a court case where somebody's phone was off, but law enforcement was still able to activate the microphone on it. Really? Yeah. Which I thought was a weird technology. Huh. It was either, I think it was off. That's that's why yeah. you have to approve every time you use your camera or your microphone on your phone now. Oh. Anytime you install, oh, it. when you install a new and, app and, or and, something, and, and when you install a new app or you've never used the camera on whatever app, and you go to open that portion of the app, it says you are consenting to us having access to your camera and your microphone. Sure. Yes or no. <laughs> and if you say no, then you can't use that part or the app. Period. Sure. And and let's just say because this number one is the relationship between, uh, you know. Uh, institutional spy agencies yeah. and tech, right? So that's the that's the. So we'll find out that the, the CIA uh, has a I, contract I, with. Yeah, geez, I, I would say or, Amazon right? or yeah. or Siri or Siri. Did. Yeah, and or, and or I mean, yeah, Google, because yeah. remember when they were like defying the FISA. Yeah, uh, you know that back in the George W. Bush days. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. That kind of shit had gone on, well, and where, I'm sure it's continuing where's to Julie go on. Assange? Where's uh, yeah. what's his, her name? That. Soldier, oh, uh, uh, Bradley Manning, yeah. yes. Chelsea yeah. Manning, Chelsea, Chelsea Manning. They're yeah. all still locked up. Yeah. yeah, nobody is letting them out. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No power doesn't like that shit, and yeah. so all the more reason to because you know sunlight laws are the disinfectant for the powerful, mm. right? So yes, robust regulatory systems, hallelujah, and robust sunlight laws, uh, always and forever. Yeah, as best we can, because power, you know, just spins out well, of control every time. 20 years ago, I worked for, for Earthlink, an internet provider, and I had people like who were like super conspiratory. You know, they were like worried about like the internet being a way for people to spy on them. I was like, I was like, sir, if you're really that concerned about that, you, you probably don't want to be on the internet because that stuff is not something that you're going to be able to control. I mean, you can try, you can get a VPN on, yeah. or firewall, or whatever, yeah. on your computer, but uh, if you're that concerned about the government, Looking at what you're looking at, then don't look at what you're looking at. All right. Well, and uh, I mean, or stay off the, the internet. Yeah, and once the corporate, you know, app owners, right? Th- yeah. they're the ones doing it, and then the government just gets it from them, right? right. Yeah, they, the government doesn't have to get it directly from us. They no, get no. it from Google. They, or they call they call or Comcast yeah. or whoever yeah. your internet provider is, and there just has to be steps in between. Like if you're accused and being charged for committing a crime, then they should be able to do that, right? Because that's been constitutionally allowed. They need right? that's like gathering a warrant, of evidence. A phone tabs yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, they need to like look that, at but, uh, who's access to, who has access to your internet. You know, yeah. just because you're making you're paying the bill doesn't mean you're the one searching those things on your on your IP address. You know, sure. if you're if you're the kind of person that never changes your password when you first get your internet set up, you're yeah. Your, people are going to log into your shit and use your internet for all kinds of weird shit. Right, just, squish videos. <laughs> squish videos. Peanut butter. <laughs> My internet's name is Sparta. <laughs> I, the, whenever I turn the hotspot on my phone, it says it says uh, it says FBI surveillance ban. Nice. Just just so because I know that someone's going to be looking for a free Wi-Fi connection yeah. oh, and yeah. mine's locked, so you can't. But it's like they'll see that and go, yeah, never mind. It's solid. <laughs> <laughs> well, boys, did we scratch the conspiratorial itch? Well, uh, for I don't this know, show, got any uh, any privately held ones? Yeah. Uh, the Morgellon one is always near and dear to my heart. Which one? The gray ooze Morgellons. Are you familiar with those? Yeah. Oh, fuck. It's weird as fuck. Anyway, but there are these... Mostly happens to crystal meth smokers. <laughs> <laughs> Go my figure. Go on. Departed brother uh, also, but uh, where it's these weird... So they think they see these plastic type things coming through their skin. Right, that defy all these different like laws of gravity and all this weird <laughs> shit. And they're going to eventually form into some giant... 
fucking morphing terrible gray ooze. <laughs> yeah, wow. look that shit up. It's, pretty, right. it's freaky. Well, right. Yeah, because wow. I mean, if you're a meth head and you're high for like eight days straight, shit's happening yeah. in your body. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, and it's difficult to. Do you ever see that movie? Uh, I think it's called Bug with uh, Michael Shannon and uh, hmm. uh, uh, Ashley Judd. Oh, jeez, that's a good line. Yeah, they lock themselves in like a hotel room, block out all the windows, and they're just freaking out because they think that there's like bugs in there, and they're just ripping themselves apart. Uh, I will find him. (laughs) Jesus, (laughs) that kind of would remind me of hell of a premise. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Bobber. Yeah, no, it's called. It's a it's a comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's called Auburn on a weekend. (laughs) Federal Way, (laughs) any given Tuesday. South King County. Oh man. Meth needs to go away. Oh, God. What a fucking nightmare. Yeah. It's been a nightmare since the 20s. <laughs> yeah. It's like a 100-year anniversary of fuck the devil. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, so Cocktails. gross. Yeah. So gross. Does anybody else have any conspiracy theories that they that we didn't talk about? There's a, There's one that's been going around. That birds aren't really real. <laughs> yeah, birds oh yeah, I've seen that. That's <laughs> yeah, that's been that's been around for a few years now. I've seen that. They think they legit think that pigeons are not real animals. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so specifically good. pigeons. Oh, man, yeah. the planet Zuzu. Or but what, what are they? Are they aliens? Are they yeah, robots? They're like machine they're, robots. They're, they're, yeah. they're, they're spying on us. They're drones. Or okay. They're drones. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. As I had a little hummingbird in the window, and I felt bad because for uh, the holidays we put up these giant uh, Christmas ornaments. That down the like feeder. Well, it, like, it looks like it, yeah, it looks like a little feeder, and he was like pecking at it. And I'm like, oh, dude, I feel bad. It's like, come on in, I'll give you a cube of sugar or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Right? Come on in. <laughs> but he was just hovering in the window and watching me. I'm like, oh, oh they're cool. They're little bullies. Actually. Yeah, they're like yeah. half ounce. Yeah, they're terrible attitude. Very cool creatures. Well, yeah, they really. I are. think that's that's what happens when you're small. Is yeah, you yeah, have right? to have a big yeah. attitude in order to keep people <laughs> from fucking yeah. with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and drink I mean, a lot of sugar. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. They are. They're. Uh, they're, uh, they're. They're the Axe body spray monster drinking. <laughs> oh, oh boy, it's good. Black, Black Diamond boys, you know. All right. About. Well, boys, sharing is caring. Does anybody have any new uh, shows, books, TV, movies, anything they've seen? Oh, gee, well, I we yeah, since I was gone last week. Yeah, thanks you were for, gone for I know, a bit. Thanks for helping me, guys. Uh, yeah, no problem. But uh, the season finale of Loki. He was uh, amazing. Right? I know it's oh all my God, yeah. by now, I still have yet but to it was watch. Great. No, it was excellent television. Okay. Excellent television. I just finished Andor, so maybe I'll jump into oh, Loki geez, right now. Yeah. 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 What did you What did you think of the end of uh, of Ahsoka? I enjoyed it. I think it's going to be a great. It was a great sort of cliffhanger. Um, I just love Rosario Dawson and just the the her character, just like not fearing it right she's like this is where we're at and this is we got to conquer this right it's just this not this non-pessimistic attitude from her it was just cool to see because what's a sabine was like oh we're fucking stuck here and we're in a whole nother galaxy and how the hell are we gonna get back and she's just like we're where we're supposed to be (laughs) <laughs> yeah. It was cool. Well, if you like the character, you need to you need to check out uh, the Clone Wars and Rebels because she's a part of both of those. Yeah, shows. and and her character is the only reason why I watched uh, the Clone Wars. And then she doesn't come into Rebels and I'm thinking it was like season four. How, how big of a time skip is it between the live action and those? Um, well, I mean, is she still a kid? Sabine or uh, Sabine and and Ezra are teenagers in Rebels. So, okay. And uh, and uh, uh, oh, so maybe ten years. Ahsoka is like in her thirties. Oh, so. All right. And uh, and yeah, so in, in in the Clone Wars, Ahsoka goes from being like uh, ten or eleven to like being like seventeen right. at the end of the series. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So yeah. Yeah, did enjoy both of them. Missing out. I mean, I need more Star Wars now. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys checked out the 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 Tim Allen Santa Claus TV series no. at all? It's actually kind of cute. Is it? Yeah. And this current season has a another character, a, another Santa Claus that who's like the Santa from like the medieval times, and he's kind of a uh, a barbarian. And he's like, you know, not a nice guy. He's like a like a hun or whatever. He, he, he dresses kind of like a, a hun, hmm. but uh, he's just like gruff and just like. Argh! And, and he, instead of having elves, he has uh, uh, gnomes, yeah. and they're 
not particularly nice. <laughs> <laughs> I think okay. I saw the first Santa Claus, but uh, didn't he do two or three he movies? Did three, he did three movies, I think, of those three. I actually like the second one. That's the one where he has to find a wife. But uh, mm. um, And the third one has uh, Martin Short is, is uh, Jack Frost, which was nice. a pretty good one, too. Yeah, I really like I Martin like Short. Martin Short. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, nice. But the TV series is kind of like... Um, uh, and it's at least in season one, uh, he's, um, I'm trying to remember what happened in season one. He's basically his, his, his kids after he married Mrs. Claus and they moved to the North Pole, he had two more kids hmm. and, uh, you kind of getting down Santa. Yeah. So it's, it's actually a cute show. There is a couple times in season one where, um, Tim Allen's character, Scott Calvin kind of makes pokes fun at the left-wing people. And I was like, okay, you don't really need to do that on this show. Come on now. This is about Santa Claus and Christmas time. Let's let's not poke fun at politics. Hmm. But um, and that was like one joke through the whole series. But yeah. You know, season two has been better. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. I think it's worth watching. It's on Disney+. Plus. So I got a new awesome album. I uh, actually got it a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and it's a beautiful, beautiful package, but it's uh, Duff McKagan's new album. Oh, nice. It's right called on. Lighthouse, um, and he's got several guest appearances, and the only one I can think of off the top of my head, he's got Iggy Pop comes out and works with him on it. Um, but it's a beautiful package. It's a, a, a gatefold album. It's got like two or three lithographs that he did mm-hmm. that are included with it. There's a pick, a sticker, and a autograph uh, on the cover just really nice packaging really impressed with it but it's actually a really good album uh, got a lot of guest uh, stars on there um, I think maybe Josh Holm um, trying to think who else maybe Matt Sorum because they're always doing stuff together but I, I have to remember who it is but a good album if you got it Lighthouse check it out um, um, but there was a funny story because he was talking about having Iggy Pop guest on this album. Uh, Duff McKagan has guested on a couple of Iggy's albums back uh-huh. in the day, like in the early 90s um, and then again, like in the early 2000s. And, and one of those sessions, uh, Chad Smith of the Red Hot Chili Peppers was the drummer. And Iggy Pop, you know, consummate professional is up there and he's talking about, you know, what he wants to do on this song. And he's like, hey, you, drummer. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> this is what I want you to play. Yeah. Instead of like, hey, Chad, why don't you yeah, do yeah, this? Yeah. It's like, you, drummer. Yeah, like, he's a drummer. session guy, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it's Iggy fucking pop, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. What about you, Carl? Yeah, Any yeah. new new stuff happening in your world? New media that you're um, restaurants? I just finished a book that was pretty awesome. It was the, uh, I forget the author's name, famous uh, biography author on Leonardo da Vinci. Oh, oh um, that's cool. Uh, I can't think of his name, but he did Elon Musk and Steve Jobs and Benjamin Franklin. He's a kind of a famous uh, biographer. Uh, Larson? I don't think. No, that's not. Say, that's Maxwell the Maxwell or something. Okay. Anyway, but, but anyway, it was really good. Uh, really cool kind of exploration of his life, and it was seeing Leonardo as more kind of human. Like he did not finish very many projects. He was oh. chronically distracted. And hmm. like even the Mona Lisa and a few of his other paintings, uh, he just died with them un- unfinished. Yeah. Um, Sounds was, like Da Vinci might have been neurodivergent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> he very much was, is what they're saying. Um, awesome. Yeah, and he was bad at finishing projects, but and Me he always too. wanted to be an engineer. That was his big thing, yeah. was to build war weaponry. But really? really book. Yeah. Well, uh, huh. Huh. Like catapults and shit? Yeah, he designed huge, giant uh, crossbows oh, man. and like fortifications. Because huh. you always think of him, you know, the Renaissance yeah. guy. But yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. The, the first uh, oh, military know. industrial yeah. complex. Yeah, if you could have painted nudes tank. back then. It's <laughs> like, dude, if you got your choice of like making weapons or painting nude chicks, dude, go with the nude chicks. Yeah, you know, there, yeah. there is actually a whole series. Series of nude Mona Lisa's that were oh man, oh. see, I rest my his, case, people by his uh, uh, apprentices. And oh man, his time. and uh, I, <laughs> the, you know, my favorite Leonardo da Vinci thing is that he the Mona Lisa was actually painted in one stroke. <laughs> 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 one, one stroke. <laughs> oh, man. Steve, I stole that from Steve Martin. No, that's Steve Martin. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> All the other show, I was trying to remember the name of the shows. And it's called Crapopolis. It's on Fox. And I think it's done by the same people that do uh, Rick and Morty. The animation style is the same anyway. Uh, uh. 
Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of like a Greek mythology type shit, and it's got um, uh, let's see here are the actors, uh, Matt Berry's on it, um, Richard Aoadi. Both of those guys are from like the It crowd. Um, I don't recognize any of these other people. Eric Baza, Keith David. Oh, geez, everybody loves Keith David. Um, Fred Tattashore. He was in The Thing. Yes. Maurice Lamar, and John live, DiMaggio. Right? Oh, and they live. Oh, yeah. Dee yeah, Bradley yeah. Baker, Dave Franco. Not Joel Dave McHale. Franco. Dave Franco. Not his brother, right. but Dave. And uh, Kevin Michael Richardson. These are Rob hmm. Riggle, Ben Stiller, Yvette, no- uh, Yvette Nicole Brown, David Keckner. It's a lot of people. Yeah, really. These yeah. are all like yes. these are all like known like uh, voice actors and comedians and stuff that I'm listing up. Dave, yeah. David Keckner was on SNL back in the no, that early, funny. early 2000s. <laughs> yeah, geez, what else been coming? Yeah, geez, got what some spill. Mike? That was cool. Yeah, yeah. And Purtons and the Purtons are Seattle's best rock and roll band. They really are. They're fucking amazing. Did they open for them or were they? They were the lucky. first. Yeah, they were, they opened, okay. and then it was Prism Bitch who opened when it was Tree People. And Purdens, and the drummer for Prison Bitch is now the drummer with Doug in Built to Spill. Okay. So, but with a rock and rolling lady bass player nice. who was on her game. Yeah, nice. she was really good. All right. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, Built to Spill. Cool. Doug's, he's a wizard. Other than that, just working. A lot of work, yeah. Yeah, yeah still going out, you know, Fridays and Saturdays. Yeah. Music is the reason I work. Yeah, yeah. And I get to feed my cat my old lady. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, in a couple of weeks, you can come over Wait. and do the listening party for oh, yeah. uh, our <laughs> town podcast, Star Wars Holiday Special, a yeah. radio oh, yeah. parody. Yes. 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 Mike coined that parody, and I just love it to death. Yeah. <laughs> parody. <laughs> parody. Uh, um, actually. Snack. Yeah. Yeah. Which is coming out on the 20th, so look yeah. for that. That'll be your new yeah. holiday tradition, yes. everybody. just in time. The 20th, just in time for the holidays. Yeah. Are we going to do a different one every year? going forward or are we going to just redo the holiday special yeah, well we started at the top that stuff's <laughs> bonkers <laughs> uh, we're doing we're just doing yeah. this for then this will just be there for the next 50 years people will enjoy this <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, from there I, I do want to do more radio parodies oh, yeah. uh, where we write our own or if we find an old like uh, something like the, we the should, holiday we do the, who's on first Oh, oh man. man, I don't oh, know yeah. if we can improve on that. Yeah, I, no, I'm not suggesting good. we can improve on it. We yeah. can at least try can, to uh, <laughs> stylize it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, where we start brawling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Evidently, they did not like each other. No. <laughs> oh, man. Jeez. All right, guys. Well, we are going to leave it there, and we're going to come back into our bonus round. So if you subscribe to our uh, Patreon now Ooh, or yeah. our website, uh, go to either one. You can subscribe for three dollars a month or thirty dollars a year. Actually, I don't think there's that option on the Patreon. So yeah, go to the it's website. Three dollars a month on Patreon. Yeah. Yeah. Go there and see all of our bonus rounds where we do a top five. This week's top five is the ways we'd love to be able to end any personal interaction. Nice. Yeah. So you'll have to come back and see what we come up with for that. It's so be fun in the Patreon, it, we have it linked on the Facebook page if, uh, if you guys want to know the link. So. Come check out. Yeah, we're not hard to find. Go go check it out. Facebook.com slash yes. our town pod. There you our go. Our town pod. Yeah. All right, Kyle. Yeah, thanks for being thanks here. For thanks being for being here, buddy. Yeah. You guys. Yeah, right Appreciate right you coming right. down. Good You're welcome you. anytime. And actually, Kyle is uh, one of the Imperial officers no. in the holiday I mean, parody. Yeah. So uh, look for him there. Ah, right on. Yes. And for you, yeah. uh, go to dunscapgames.com. All of our Dunscap stuff is oh, yeah. there. Make sure you stocking stuffers. It yeah, really it does. does. Honestly, it, does. it really it does. does. Absolutely yeah. does. It's fun. It's a fun Absolutely game. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Right on. Until next time. Thanks, guys. Bye. And we're done. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And if you think this episode is worth a dollar or five bucks, the boys would love to have it. Please go to ourtownpod.store for merch or to donate now. For less than a cup of coffee, you can also join the website in the member-only area for exclusive bonus content, blogs, and more. It's just $3 a month or $30 a year. Thank you for listening to this production of Our Town Podcast Extraordinaire.